Hello everyone, and welcome back to another live stream of, uh, of stuff. Live stream of stuff. <laughs> Let's log in here. Hi, that's me. Oh, there it is, Fenneman! Bananas in chat, Austin, thank you! Morgan, <laughs> the physics, Sabian, Blaine, thank you for all the bananas. Merc Mercurius, <laughs> man, the chat is so fast today. Cool Patrick, May School, the physics, hi, nice to all see you here. The physics again even, bananas in chat, appreciate it. Brandon, thank you for the bananas. Let's put items in chest. Let's put items in a chest because I don't need all this stuff on me, do I? So today, noise in my ear, right at the beginning here. It is Austin. SCH has subscribed. Austin, thank you so much for subscribing. Really do appreciate the support. I hope you have a fantastic time in today's stream. We are here at the beginning, at the very, very beginning. Just sort. Of, oh, do you know what? I can go up top because uh, <laughs> this is no longer spoilers. But there's spoilers over there. I'll tell you that. There is spoilers over there. So, um. Yeah, today I've got a plan. We'll get to the plan in a bit. We're going to be doing some, you know, grindy resource gathering type stuff today, which is really important to do regularly. And doing it on a stream is a good way to go, I think. So not the most exciting thing. I've got, I've got some things perhaps we could talk about. Well, now where is just some good old cobble? Good old cobble will be over here. Hey X, what is your favourite Minecraft auto storage system? Uh, Anarok, it is the one that I did in last season, without a doubt. And I'm going to try and build something similar here, actually. Do you know, I had this idea. I'll tell, I'll tell some of you, because I'm going to redstone it at some point. Uh, Paul Josh says, Hey X, love it when you stream at this time, because it's much easier to watch as an American. Do you know what? Lately, I've just been streaming later and later. I don't know what it is. The videos just seem to be taking longer. Today, I was, like, hustling. <laughs> I love saying that word for some reason. You know, I was working all day long, doing my videos, working away at it, and then... You know, by the time I get to eat and relax, it's it's like six. <laughs> so I just stream later and later these days. Anyway, uh, I had this idea that you could have your hopper chain here and then your dispenser chain here and possibly both of them be powered by redstone torches, which means they'll be silent. But those redstone torches would be back here, right? And then you have... Oh, I've just realised this won't work. Oh... <laughs> No, no, no. Oh, I really thought I was onto something. Never mind, never mind. Never mind. Oh, I'll have to look at that another time. I thought I could let you guys know what my plans were, but I need to to uh, give it a shot. Um, yeah, anyway, pre-stream song today was MC Shan with Bridge, or The Bridge, I think is the name of the song. And uh, a, lot of you, a lot of you in chat pointing out you really like that, which I'm glad, because it's an old school hip-hop song very very kind of rigid production but uh, I like that and someone just threw something at me it's probably a witch <laughs> I, I'm not really keen on that but okay yeah anyway this this song by MC Shan uh, the bridge like nice to see some of you uh, appreciating that older hip-hop stuff right there I've I've always been 90s hip-hop guy and I, I have appreciation for some of the stuff from the 80s like Public Enemy and NWA and lately I've just I've just been feeling like Maybe I need to get into some 80s stuff now. Man, that poison's annoying. <laughs> Man, that is an annoying amount of time to be poisoned. Ugh, I hate it. Anyway, is it me or is the saturation going away a lot quicker because of the poison? Hmm. Yeah, I was going to say, um, I discovered that song on YouTube. I loaded up... Look, the saturation's gone. The saturation and damage might be linked in 1.9. That's going very fast. Yeah, I, uh, I discovered the song on YouTube, it just started playing songs to me, and it was amazing because if you listen to a lot of hip-hop, you'll know that there's a lot of cross-referencing, like lyrics get borrowed and beats get remixed, and it just sent me on a little journey through some old-school songs like uh, Boogie, Boogie Down Productions and uh, MC Shan was one of them, and it was it was just awesome to hear that song because a lot of the lyrics in it are referenced in other songs that I know, so... Um, yeah, I, I really love that. I love listening to a song and, and like hearing a reference to another one. Anyway, we're getting noises in my ears left, right and centre at the moment. And we've got a resubscribe. It's T-Monkey T. Well, thank you for resubscribing, buddy. I hope you have a great time on today's stream. I'm going to have a good time. We've also got a donation here from Masaru. 
403 saying, Hey X, it's a holiday here in Canada, so I was finally able to catch a live stream. Keep doing everything you do, love the videos. Thank you so much for the donation, and I'm glad that you got yourself a holiday, a bit of time off work to catch us doing a stream. This is how we do here, <laughs> over in the UK. I usually don't stream at this time, by the way, but I'm, I'm guessing from what you said it's because you have got the holiday off um, that you're able to watch. Right, what are we doing over here? Before we get too distracted, we're, we're mining out all of the prismarine here, basically. That's the plan. I didn't bring any wood over with me, did I? Oh my god, that's silly. Right, in that case, we're going to start off with um, some sand gathering. Also, uh, DC Chibi in chat saying... Oh, let me read that. Hey, OX, Chibi from Twitter here. I appreciate your current stance on leafy drama controversy on YouTube. We can't all tolerate drama as well. That's uh, one of our talking... T subjects for today. Alright, so something important to mention, but first of all can I just ask my moderators if it's possible to slow down chat? Man, I am every time I look at it, it is moving too fast for me today. Uh, I know all you want to talk and I know you hate slow-mo but seriously, like, we have so many more people watching these days I notice that it gets a little bit too fast to actually read a sentence before it disappears. Anyway I want to say a massive thank you to Daniela DT for resubscribing for Dum -da -dum -dum -dum. 12 ups in a row! <laughs> I fell all the way down here. Absolutely epic. Really do appreciate it. A year of supporting me here on Twitch. Thank you so much for doing so. I hope you have a great time with the stream today. I hope you all have a great time. Uh, please use a different language. Did I even... I didn't change it. What, what language are we going to go for today? Uh, I feel like the funny languages are alright. I feel like any other language though, if it doesn't have comedic value, will probably just me be me getting confused and trying to pronounce words. Do you know what I mean? So I think we'll leave it alone today. So uh, we'll go down here and we'll eat some more fish because apparently we're just running out of saturation constantly today, which is interesting. Uh, lots of you are voting. I I'm not going to change it. It's just going to stay how it is now. Now, I was actually going to go up top, wasn't I? Man, distractions. Yes, I'm going to go place some sand first of all because I, I want to get some wood here. I also want to do do you know what? I don't actually need to place the sand. There's plenty of room to do some tree farming over here at the same time. So, change of plans. Let's get this floor dug out a little bit first of all then. That sounds reasonable. Uh, Daniela says, I'm on holiday too in Mexico. Hey X, it's been a real pleasure. You're the best Minecraft YouTuber ever. Thank you so much for the lovely message. And, Joe, I hope you have a great holiday in Mexico. Get yourself some enchiladas. No excuses. You've got to try the enchiladas. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're great. I love Mexican food. I've got some enchiladas myself to cook soon. Um, oh, I'm going to have them tomorrow, actually. That'll be nice. <laughs> anyway, enough about what I'm going to be eating. Um, yeah, so there's a whole bunch of drama going on on YouTube, and I wanted to talk about it. I wanted to be very careful about how I talked about it as well, because the I don't even know who these people really are, but the, the drama that's going on right now is a little bit awful. Um, so basically, if you haven't heard about it, some YouTubers are... Uh, well, a YouTuber was caught bullying someone who was autistic and from what I can tell, from what I've gone and looked up, this person, the type of videos that they make is basically just bullying. It really does come across as bullying. Now some people defend it as saying it's humour but you know, if a joke's at the expense of someone else it is just bullying. Wow, that was not what I planned to do. Um, yeah, so this person's sort of been caught out, so to speak, air quotes, because uh, the person that they bullied turned out to be autistic. Now, what angers me about that is that it shouldn't really matter if they're autistic or not. You shouldn't be bullying people over the internet, and it seems like a lot of this person's videos revolve around him finding someone else to victimise and to make fun of, which is just... I, I, I don't like it. I don't like it at all, but... If, if you, let's say, watch this person's videos and you think they're funny or you don't see what's wrong with them, I think the chances are that um, people who do this bullying thing, you've got you to look at it less like you're trying to condemn someone for what they're doing and more like you want to understand why they're doing it. Um, so Ash says, are you talking about Keem Leafy or, or Keemstar? I, I'm talking more about Leafy. I didn't really want to name drop them. Um, and I will hold my hand up and say I'm ignorant to a lot of this. I, I don't know too much. I just know a few things by hearing what's going on and looking at their channel and watching a few videos. So I could be wrong about a lot of this, right? Um, and I'll always, I'll always like point that out because I don't want to, I don't want to get involved in this drama and like slate someone off. That's not what I'm here to do. I'm just here to look at the situation and sort of talk about it a little bit. Um, 
So yeah, so, so people are telling me it's Leafy versus H3H3 and apparently someone called Keemstar is involved as well. Um, yeah, so, like if you look at the behaviour, I think a lot of it comes down to um, these pressures that young people experience a lot. I think all people experience it, but for those of you who are my age or even younger really, because I'm getting old now, <laughs> um, will know that when you're young there's social pressures, peer pressure that you're really sort of not aware of until you get older. Um, the, the desire to fit in and a lot of the time people um, do this via mocking someone else. So when, when you've got someone who's a big YouTuber who's watched by lots of people and they're openly mocking someone you know, your, their natural instinct can be to mock as well, to join in because of social acceptance or the pressures to be socially accepted. Um, it's easier, of course, to join in the hate train than it is to stand up for someone and therefore it kind of looks to me like, you know, his audience might be on the younger side and, uh, you know, might be in a way giving into that peer pressure. I'm sure for them his videos are, you know, genuinely funny and interesting, but there is, there is something more to be looked at there. So, like, one, one B-Man says Leafy is the best. So you're obviously a Leafy fan. Uh, B-Man, if I can catch your message again, I'd love to tell you, love for you to tell me um, what it is you think is great about this person. And am I right in saying that he he seems to find other people on the internet to, to mock to some... You know, you call them cringy and stuff like that. And he does videos where he talks about other videos and basically slates them, right? Um, because I've seen people say that it's humour, he's like a comedian so to speak and I think the reality is um, comedy shouldn't be at the expense of other people, right? You know, a joke should be mutual and no one should should have to suffer for it to an extent. You know, there's, there's types of humour that people get offended by even though it's like indirect. Um, they're not being called out so it's a bit of a interesting topic. <laughs> Uh, second choice places, are you a Democrat or Republican? I don't know, I don't think I'm either of those. Uh, the official Blaze says, it's disgraceful, why don't people just do their own thing and leave others alone? Yeah, that's that's what we need more of, like each to their own kind of attitude. Uh, the Vampiric T says it seems like cyberbullying. That's, that's the impression I get. Uh, Meech says, haven't heard any of this drama before. Good for you, I would be careful reading about it because uh, quite honestly, it would it probably get you upset. You know, there's there's just a lot of hate fly, flying around. Um, so, hello to folks, by the way. Also, Godshaft Brother says, I want to read this out quickly for you. Leafy made an apology video about it. He's slightly comedic, but his content is all at the expense of other people. Some of the people he talks about deserve it, but I agree, it's bullying. I think you should be careful when you say someone deserves it. You know, like... If, if someone comes out and does something, like, let's say they do something really ridiculous, um, you know, some people might say they're asking for it. People people can behave in strange ways, you know, you don't know what's going on in their life. You should give people uh, benefit of the doubt, because even people that you might say, hey, they deserve it or whatever, they've probably got some, you know, stuff going on in their life that isn't too great, you know, that causes people to act out or behave um, in particular ways. Um, Yes, yeah, so I watched this Leafy Guys video and I wasn't convinced and again, don't know the guy, ignorant to the whole situation, but my experience was that he was saying that he was sorry that he got caught more than he was genuinely sorry because um, he just seemed to, like, you know, apologise for being caught and he was saying, like, I didn't know this person was autistic. So coming back to my point that I was saying, um, earlier was that it doesn't matter if they're autistic, you're bullying someone and harassing someone over the internet. So that he said it like that to me, it seems like the way he looks at it is he's doing all, you know, he, he believes in what he's doing is fine, but then, oh, you know, now that someone's autistic I'm in trouble, then it's wrong. And I, to me it just, to me it just means that he, I don't think he sees any of what he's doing as bullying. And again, I don't really know that it is bullying or not. I've just sort of like only brought myself up to speed on it a little bit. Uh, Jared says, just got here. What are you talking about? We're talking about this whole drama between different people on uh, YouTube. And do you know what? I'm, I'm talking as a bit of a vent here because I try to avoid drama. I think it's, I think it's a bit unhealthy to have opinions on other people, especially when you don't know them. And 
I just I just got caught up in it. I got caught up in reading about it and hearing all these people have opinions. And then, before you know it, like we all get a little bit angry when someone else's opinions don't fall in line with ours. It's it's all a bit silly. Um, but yeah, I've been caught up in the drama, so to speak. Also, I didn't get a message back there from uh, one Ben. If anyone is is a a fan and wants to let me know like what it is about Leafy, because I am interested in hearing like all sides of a story. Oh, I missed I missed one. I'm just scrolling back through chat. Savian two five oh one resubscribing for two months in a row. Absolutely epic. Thank you so much for your support, buddy. I'm hoping you're enjoying the stream. Don't mind me chatting about a little bit of drama. Lots of people are uh, waging in with opinions here. Let's have a look. Epic Jackman says, I don't understand what people mean by Leafy bullying people. Keep in mind, I personally don't watch him, but from what I've seen about this incident, it appeared he was criticising cringeworthy videos, which many YouTubers do. Um, Epic Jackman, I'd say the kind of behaviour probably perhaps blurs bullying a little bit. It's not maybe traditional bullying as you know it. Um, and yes, there is a lot of other videos out there where people criticise other people. Um, like a lot of celebrity gossip videos, you know, I can't stand that stuff, but you know, they, they talk about other people's lives all the time, and to me, that's that's sort of a form of bullying or harassment, like what gives you the right to uh, to criticise people openly about, you know, what dress they wore or something like that, it, it's, it all sort of falls under a similar banner for me, so maybe, maybe you see it a different way. Um... So, Immortal says, why don't you have a shield? P.S. I'm autistic. Um, I don't have a shield because... Because, I don't know, like, this is one of those things in 1.9. I keep getting comments like, yeah, why don't you use dual wielding? Or, why don't you got a shield? Or, you know, I'm just not really thinking about it. The reason I don't have a shield is because it takes up a lot of the screen. I haven't really got used to using it yet. I'm also not dual wielding because sometimes it gets a little bit annoying. Um, I've got... I could put my torches on my offhand right now, that would be useful. So there you go. Sometimes it doesn't always help though. And ironically, dual wielding is more... Um... Oh, excuse me there. Bit of dinner there making its, <laughs> making its way up in the form of a burp. Hold that one down. Um... What were we saying? Something about dual wielding being useful or whatever. Hey X, wondering what you are doing. Uh, Fury Kitten, we're just mining out the ocean monument here. I am possibly going to collaborate with someone and make a shop to sell this stuff, but um, I don't know. Because I'm not really going to use a lot of these textures. Dark Prismarine I will, but that's that's about it. So I'm just over here doing the job that will need to be done, you know, getting rid of the old ocean monument. I actually actually find this like, quite relaxing, uh, especially being able to hang out with you guys and just have a little chat. Hey X, what must one do to call oneself a redstoner? Benjineer, just... just Enjoy redstone when you when you know that you enjoy doing it. You're a redstoner, I'd say. Hey, X, why don't you carry food in your offhand? I found putting food in the offhand to be quite annoying. There's there's some weird behaviour with food in the offhand. Like you can try and eat even though you can't, and your hands start fidgeting. Let's try that. Actually, was it F? Yes. Yeah, so now if I right click in the air, oh, right there it is. Look at that. What's that about? What am I trying to do right now? My little character is just flailing his arms up and down. Oh, it's silly. By the way, I'm being a bit cautious here because there's water above this bit, so I'm not in a rush to whale my pick for it all. Yeah, so um, so we were talking about the drama, and there is one other aspect I'd like to to bring up about it. There, there actually, do you know what? No, no, I'm not going to get into this. Nah. <laughs> I think I'll keep my uh, thoughts to myself there, actually. It's so easy to get caught up in drama and just talk about all the different things people are saying. Uh, hey X, where is Corrales, says TZ. Corrales is in Sweden, where he's been most of the time, I think. Yeah, if you, I know what you're asking. Why isn't Corrales on Hermitcraft? Ask him, not me. Ask, ask the person who can give you the answer. Uh, hello X, I'm from Denmark, love your vids, and your voice is relaxing, the collabs with Rendog is awesome. Thank you for the lovely message, Toby. Uh, I do hope to do more stuff with Rendog, but he's on holiday at the moment. AX, do you like the country Wales? Yes, Caden, I love Wales. Wales is beautiful, been there loads of times, really like it. Okay, let's see. Do we have a wild Jotato in chat? I think we do. <laughs> hey Jotato, how's it going? I feel like I should just call you Joe. 
Oh, what did we just do? We opened up the wall. Not good. Is that ocean outside? No, there's another little section. Interesting. That's interesting. Alright. Uh, where are my torches? They're on me offhand. Of course they are. Did he move to Sweden, says Clad Kraken. Um, yeah, a long, long time ago, I think. A long, long time ago. Hey X, will you reply to this pointless comment? Uh, blue code, I don't reply to pointless comments. That's not something that I do. I generally just ignore them and don't acknowledge them. But this time it seems you have uh, you have caught me out. Right. It's like a, there's like, it looks like there's another trim of blocks there we could pinch, but we don't have to go super crazy. This will do just fine. All right then. What's going on with the random doors? Says Daniela. I don't know. They're just there. I think it might have been Joe Hills, like using them to breathe, would be my guess. I know he, he came down here, so it was probably him. I, I assume. Did you get the gold? Says Maurice. All the gold had gone. I got lots of dark prismarine from here, though, which is what I was looking for. Yeah, because some of this, some of this is sort of like spoilers. I did some of this in tomorrow's episode, some of this clearing out because I needed um, some materials from over here, and now I just thought I'd come over and get some more. Also, what pick are we using? Silk Touch. It's actually sort of not the one I want to use, really, because the other one is going to repair itself. There we go. Alright, let's put these down. This place will make an awesome base with some glass domes underwater and off to the sides. That pixel, did you not see what XP Crafted did last season of Hermitcraft? He turned one of these temples into a base. It was really cool. I really liked it. Okay, so all of that's nicely done. Now we need a way up to this area. Hey X, what is your favourite redstone project you've ever created? I don't know. Oh, people always ask questions like this. I'm always put on the spot. I'm like, I don't know. I can't think. Is there stuff behind here? There's water behind there. Um, I'll tell you one I really love. Lights Out. Now, if anyone remembers Lights Out, you've been here for too long. Alright? You've been here for too long. Unsubscribe. No, don't do that. I'm joking. Uh, Lights Out goes all the way back to the very early days of my channel and I made like a Lights Out video and then I made a follow up one but that's it, they were done years ago so basically the game Lights Out I made with Redstone um, before Command Blocks, before any of that fancy stuff and it's not the best Redstone, it's not particularly impressive but I enjoyed doing the project had to think a lot about how I was going to make it all work and I managed to do so, it was a really, really good one actually Hey X, show us how many blocks you mined in total. You're awesome, by the way, says Jelly Carrot. So have a look. Statistics, uh, blocks. Aren't they all... Are they, like, grouped here? Blocks mined or something? I don't think they are. Chests open. 5,459. Times crafted, used, times mined. So there you can see a lot of the blocks I've mined. Wow, 4,260 of those. And 1,900 iron. Wow, fan fancy that. You can see how many diamonds as well, right? 159 diamonds. Cool stuff. What's lights out, says uh, Bypen. Um, go Google lights out handheld game and you'll find out. And funny enough, it is a, a handheld game. <laughs> as you can imagine. So basically, we need another chest. I need to go... Um, get some saplings and set up a tree farm in here. Austin says, I thought X's favourite redstone was the What is Love plank. Well, there you go. You see, I can't think of all the things I've done um, all, all at once. Right? So there's another great one. There's probably been other ones as well. And Tesla says, I had no knowledge of this incident, by, but by what I've heard from you, but I feel it's, that it is hypocritical of people to get mad at a bully just because the person... Uh, getting bullied is disabled in any manner. If you care for someone wholeheartedly is getting bullied, you shouldn't care whoever the victim. Uh, Tesla, that is one of the biggest things that's upset me about the whole drama is that it, like people are angry now. It's like if this guy was already bullying people or doing something similar to bullying, like why weren't you angry then? Like it just takes a word like autism to to fire people up and go that's wrong. I mean it was wrong anyway. Like yeah, I, I'm totally on the same page with you there. Right, so we're going to grab some different types of saplings, and we don't need loads of them, but we do need at least a few. Also, the big spruce trees probably won't be too good to grow in there. We need some dirt as well, don't we? 
Also, I take a couple of chests. Now, where am I going to get dirt from? I know where I can get some dirt from, actually. I know where to get dirt from. How do you link nether portals? I've tried and failed so many times. Uh, SBB pal, just uh, do a YouTube search. I've got a tutorial on how to do it. It's really easy stuff. It really is. In 1.9, that being said, it is a little bit more finicky. Or even in 1.8, I think it's been finicky for a while, actually. Right, so four of each, but for some reason we got lots of saplings for spruce. That'll do just fine. Uh, Jeff DeKing says the glitch didn't hit your chests. No, my chests are uh, glitch-proof, thank goodness. The Purple Ninja says, Hi X, just joined, what have I missed? We have been chatting about um, drama that's happening on YouTube and... Infinite Banana says X tried to find Mumbo's treasure. I saw his video a little bit about that where he built a treasure room or something. <laughs> Fetterman says I think what upsets me more than anything is that it's YouTube verifies this channel and everything. Yeah, YouTube have a very distant approach to uh, how they manage YouTube, don't they? Because they could do whatever they want. You know, it's, it's theirs. They could come in with a whole, you know, moral agenda of what type of content they're going to allow on the platform or not. I think doing that now would probably be a terrible idea, but um, but yeah, they could they could easily get involved and say this isn't right, but you know, they, they seem quite distant. Uh, they made a change a while back to block ad blocker, and since they did that, I've noticed that if you click a link that has a time index, it doesn't work anymore. At least for me, it, it just makes you watch the video again. And I think they might have accidentally broke their whole time link system, but they don't know about it yet. Maybe. I don't know, I might be linking one and two together there. Uh, Freezing Place says, Hi X, how does a Guardian Temple work? Can you please give me a breakdown? Guardian Temple is basically a structure that will appear in the world. And that structure has what's called a bounding box with it. That's an invisible box which Guardians spawn in. So the idea is that um, if you dismantle the entire area, the entire ocean monument, and get rid of all the water around it where the Guardians can spawn, you can turn it into a mob farm. And I forgot to go get some dirt, so let's go back up. Uh, Ajan says, Hey X, I watch Leafy's videos, not a big fan, and as a person that has been bullied before, I don't see him as a bully. Most of the time he looks at very cringe-worthy videos. For example, he once looked at a video called All the Single Furries. It was a weird furry music video with disgusting link in chat. Okay, interesting, but I, I understand that sometimes what is cringe-worthy is what someone else is doing. Um, if you deem someone else to be doing something that is cringe-worthy, like, it doesn't make it okay to then bully them for it. Like. You know, even if it's the most outlandishly weird thing ever, you, you, you give people their space and let them do what they do, you know? Where are we going? Brown would be the place. Also, we've got a new subscriber. It is M3 Kale. That's what I'm calling you. I can't help but feel that's supposed to be said differently. Uh, a common theme with pronouncing names here on, on the stream. Thank you so much for your subscription. Hope you have a great time with today's stream. I'm having a good time so far. Andrex says, who are we talking about? We were talking about some YouTube drama, basically. And, uh, I don't know, I've just sort of seen what's been happening and reading up. I've been, I've been caught up in the drama, right? And I've been a bit upset by the way people are, uh, like, angry, angry now because it's someone autistic involved as opposed to just being angry at bullying in general. Uh, this is the wrong place. We've also got another new subscriber. It is Clay, Clavin, Clavin Araku. Clavin Araku, thank you so much for your subscription. I hope you have a great time on today's stream. I like your name, by the way. It's cool. I uh, I think I might have messed it up. We've also got another name that I'm definitely going to butcher here. We're going to get a noise in my ear. Bam, there it is. It is... <laughs> to jail... To jail... Oh, my God. My, my brain won't work today. I'm going to call you TJ1984 has resubscribed for three months in a row. Absolutely epic support. Thank you so much, buddy. And I just saw a name in chat there, a big message from Autism Father, which I have to read. Uh, a good friend of mine here. Let's have a, a little read of his message. He says, Bullying is wrong, as it is, no doubt, but it's more pronounced when the victim has autism because only... Uh, because... Uh, no, only because while one in four children are bullied, two in three kids with autism are bullied. And it's more severe, often ending uh, in the child... 
yeah, that's not very nice. Um, I'll be discussing this some more in my ne next live stream about that. So you should be, uh, a l I think, a little bit careful with the end result, let's say, of that message there. Be I'm a bit touchy about discussing stuff like that. Um, I sort of agree and disagree with you because I feel like uh, the, the problem applies to everyone. Um, if some people suffer more from it, it's still the problem needs to be like dealt with for everyone, right? Not just for a group of people. That's kind of how I feel about it. Um, now, when, when you say that autistic people are more vulnerable to it, I mean, yes, that could definitely be true. At the same time, you know, autism is, is a spectrum. Um, you can be anywhere on it. And I think that, you know, like some people can just be, let's say, uh, more sensitive, right? Some people do not have to be autistic to be very sensitive and then can be more receptive to being bullied and it can hurt them more. In the same way that someone can just be naturally quite strong-minded and individualistic and, and not really care what other people say and they'll be very resistant to being bullied it won't bother them you know so it's like on an individual basis um, that people can be hurt by it and therefore we shouldn't be you know treating one another like that so anyway I'm gonna have a sip here X do you follow or play any sports I, uh, I follow football. I don't really play any sports. I, I do like athletics, running. Well, just running, <laughs> cycling. It's not quite athletics, is it? Uh, I would love to play a sport, though. I really would like to find a way, but I just don't have the time to do anything like that. Uh, but I really enjoy sports in general. Whenever I, you know, I have um, have the opportunity to sit down and watch some, I always like sports. All right. Uh, what's this? <laughs> okay, just reading a message here from Toby saying... Oh, and it's gone. It's so hard to read chat when it moves so fast. I think Leafy did nothing wrong. He didn't know he had an he had autism and he just is joking. Yeah, he's kind of bullying kids, but it's mostly the famous ones that don't deserve it. P.S. I'm not sporting bullying. It's bad. Toby, I think you started off there by saying he's done nothing wrong, but... Um, and that he didn't know he had autism. The point I made earlier is that the autism bit is irrelevant. It's kind of the reason that I got so upset by it is that that's that's the irrelevant bit to me. It's the bullying bit that I, I think the guy was just doing something kind as well. He um, helped a woman who had eggs on top of her car and stopped her from driving off without them. Um, you know, like it, the, the the autism bit's kind of irrelevant to me. I, I think it's more about how he's. Uh, <laughs> bullying or whatever we want to call it, you know, someone else, basically. Um, that, that's how kind of I look at it. Today is a sub-hype day, says the Physics 101. we got some more sub-hype here. It is... Wow, okay, here we go again. Poxarellis. <laughs> Poxarellis, thank you so much for your subscription. I really do appreciate it. Sorry if I butchered your name. And, uh, and I hope you enjoy the stream. So we've got a message here from Shifu saying, To the person who said, don't deserve it, who are you to judge that someone doesn't deserve it? Do you fully know their story? Um, by more so saying, by saying that they don't deserve it, I'm sort of saying I'm not holding judgment more so than I am saying I'm holding the judgment to say that they don't deserve it. Like, you can't get inside other people's heads. You don't know what goes on in their worlds. People can behave in, uh, you know, crazy ways that make them appear to be a nasty person, yet... Yeah, they might be suffering inside. You don't know. I, I think that compassion is more important. And when I say, you know, don't bully someone, you shouldn't do that. It's not... I don't, I don't think that you, you can just say someone deserves it. I'm not saying at the same time... Sorry, I'm, I'm saying at the same time I'm not saying they don't deserve it. Like, it's I'm indifferent to it. It's like, it's a principle. Just people have their own lives, leave them be, you know? Something along those lines. But, yeah, interesting... Interesting thoughts there. Uh, SSBB Pal says the guy of autism made a video of him crying due to getting death threats from Leafy fans. This is where most of the drama was stirred. Leafy's videos are targeted to people who can handle criticism. Um, yeah, I mean, if they are, how does he how does he figure out that they can handle criticism? <laughs> 
Uh, does he get in contact with them before he makes a video? I mean, if that's the thing he does, then fair enough. You know, if he says, hey, I'm going to rip on you with this video, and they're like, that's fine, or whatever, I don't know. X, put it on lolcat. I'm not going to change the language today. R Ramuko says, people with the biggest smiles are hurting the worst inside. The people who are helping others the most are the loneliest. I I disagree with that. I'd say um, that's got a bit of like a poet poetic sentiment to it, which I don't think really translates in, in reality. Uh, obviously, that made me think of Robin Williams, someone who's obviously suffered with depression and, and helped so many people through laughter, but... It's, it's a bit of a... there are characters like that that make their way into the mainstream uh, but it's a bit of like a, a romanticized thing, right, you know? Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense. That's, that's how I feel about that. <laughs> the music is sad, X. Please change it to something better. Sorry, I, I like this music. It's nice and slow and soothing for me. Uh, will you go check out the super secret sapling society that Mumbo made? I need to break into there with Rendog at some point, don't I, and find out what all the fuss is about. I really do. But uh, Rendog's away at the moment, so no no collabs for a while, probably. Need to record with Iskow and Rendog, and, and they're away at the moment. Uh, we've got a noise in me here from Smartin1018 saying, Hey X, love your videos. About what time of day do you check your email? Also, can I have a shuffle fish and... Shuffle of fish and a pickaxe. Okay, so one pickaxe, one fish. It's your shuffle. <laughs> There you go, buddy. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed a little bit of shuffling there. Uh, which way around were these? Wait, there. No, that one. To there, to there, to there. Bam, we did it. Right. <laughs> uh, yeah, thank you for the donation, bud. Um, I got your tweet earlier as well, actually, but I didn't reply because I, I was just... I was like, oh, man, what do I say? I basically, like... Um, I I'm just don't have the time to think at the moment. Like, I was working all day on a video... And you know me, I'm I'm a bit of a workaholic. Like I set myself a schedule, and I want to complete it, and I want to do it all. Of course, I can just go. Uh, do you know what? I'll take today off and and do whatever. But I, I don't work like that. I need to constantly do something, right? Anyway, uh, lately where I've been doing all my videos, I haven't even had the time to think about what stuff we need developed. So I'm also going to have a meeting with the Hermitcraft guys and see how they feel about getting an app developed. So I haven't haven't really like ignored you as such as I'm going to reply to you later. Um, it's the same for a few other people who have contacted me as well. It's just a case of yeah, just being so busy it's like I look at it and I'm like, I don't even know what to say at the moment. Like, because uh, I've got to get this done, I've got to get that done and do you know, I don't think we're going to be able to grow the jungle tree in here. Maybe in that space. Either way, let's start chopping this down. This is our little resource gathering area now. Uh, Exile, a spy from Mumbo. And when he live streams, I'ma tell him, <laughs> says Immortal. I've been warned, he's gonna tell him. He's gonna tell Mumbo. Hex, when are you going to the end? Uh, we'll discuss it at our next meeting. This is the music that kept the free-headed dog fluffy asleep in Harry Potter, hee <laughs> hee. Um, I doubt it's the same song, it might sound similar though. Now, when I break a block like this, I always check. Nope, <laughs> we haven't come close enough yet. That's why I don't like torches in the offhand sometimes. So lots of long messages coming through here. Let's have a, a read of one. Uh, Pan says, honestly, since we don't know the stories of people uh, Leafy makes the videos about, we don't really know Leafy. Maybe he was bullied as a kid or he doesn't really like to bully people. I honestly think he does it for the viewers and all that. Uh, I, I, I don't know what to say. Um, I have really little idea why never really thought about you know like why is someone motivated to do something obviously with what I do um, money is involved and every now and then you get those messages where people call you a sellout and stuff and and like the only way I can describe it on that front is like I didn't like ever start doing this with any idea that there'd be money involved and when when someone you know gives you money to do something you love you're not gonna turn that down um, yeah and it's like that you can't really figure out what this person's doing you can only like take their word for it right um, I imagine for that guy like most of us on YouTube he started off to make videos which were fun and then it became a job that's usually how it works uh, for some people you can see that the the job isn't quite as fun when it is a job but for others you know you can keep it fun and fresh I've, I've gone through some bad patches I've gone some, through some patches where um, 
the fun sort of disappears a little bit from time to time and you've got to keep your channel going, you've got to do what's good for the channel, you don't want to give up on it, but over time I've really, really sussed the whole thing out and learned how to do um, what is most fun for me, you know, like you've got to make YouTube fun for yourself, otherwise, otherwise it is just a job, <laughs> which you don't want it to be, you want it to be the fun, most fun job you'll ever have kind of thing. Um, and I think that comes from having like a positive mentality and keeping things in check, you know, make sure you're doing the videos that you love doing and don't get caught up in doing some videos that you're not so keen on. Um, yeah, and that's kind of how I feel about it. I mean, that's why I'm doing a lot of Minecraft at the moment. I'm just in that mood. I've, I saw Planet Coaster come around and you see, when a game like that comes around, you've got this voice in your head that's like, you know, it's going to be hype, everyone's going to be interested, make videos on it. And I don't, I don't want to do that anymore, so I was just like, do you know what, I'll play it for a bit, see how it is, and I think it's a great game, I think it looks awesome, but I just feel like playing Minecraft at the moment, so I'm going to do that. Um, another example would be Scrap Mechanic, like I jumped on that, but I thoroughly enjoyed that game as well, made loads of good stuff on it, but now that I'm a bit like done with it for now, I'm not going to stress out about making videos. I know I've let some people down, they're like, where's Scrap Mechanic, but I'd rather just do what's fun, you know, that's worked best for me. Um, <laughs> Seth says, Asuma, why do you always sound sad and depressed in your old videos? i got a funny story for you about that, because there was a point where people started saying to me, you sound so like depressed in the old videos, and now people are saying you sound depressed in those videos where people said it about the older ones. It's like because there's now years in it, it's like the middle, the mid-range videos or like the, the not-so-early ones people say it about now. Um, Basically, I didn't know how to put my enthusiasm into my voice, which might sound a little bit strange, but if you spend a lot of time talking to a camera, uh, talking to a camera, <laughs> talking to a computer or an audience that isn't there yet or is on the other side of the internet, uh, you will get better at doing it and you kind of find your way with your voice a little bit, you know, because I will, you, know, you can't just sit down here and talk like this. It takes a while to learn how to do this. It's the same with Twitch, you know. Um, it's like a skill that you develop, and so the voice the voice came over time. Right, so some more big messages. Let's have a look. Uh, Slash is saying, To me this conflict, and most conflicts involving this kind of issue, is directed at the wrong person. While most of the people's attention is directed at the bully, this is what he... mostly what he wants. Even though it's negative attention, it's still attention, and this video is probably one of the largest view counts on his channel. Our attention should be directed more towards the victims, not because they are artistic, but because they are the ones that need support. Slash, very, very interesting view there. I, I like a lot of what you had to say there. Um, absolutely right. Whenever, you know, they say, what is it? Uh, like, all publicity is good pub publicity, I think is the, the saying. And yeah, you're absolutely right. I, I, I didn't get the impression, though, that that person did it with the views in mind. I think... They didn't expect to have this big backlash of drama, but you're right, it will probably benefit them, you know, uh, in views and in attracting new viewers as well. It will probably benefit them more than they realise on that front. Hey X Drink UT says Benjineer. Benjineer, thanks for the reminder, I'm going to do that right now. Uh, let's have a look here. Raven Rod says, don't. People don't realise that you're alone in a room, staring at a screen, talking to yourself, but you have to talk to us as if you're speaking to a crowd. Yes, Raven Nod, that's exactly what it's like. Uh, but the crowd is like, I can't see the crowd. <laughs> Hello crowd, how you doing? Oh. Yeah, that's that's what it's like. Yeah, sometimes you won't connect to it on that level. But that's kind of what's so interesting about YouTube in a way, and all of this. Right, so we well and truly collected some stuff here. Um, I think I'm gonna put down a chest now <laughs> with all of these things in it because yeah, because we need that, right? We need that chest with all of them things in. Bam, there it is. If that's I want to keep some wood on me. Cool, alright, so we've done a bit of this and a bit of that. Okay, someone's just asking is there a good way to find Slime Chunk in Survival? There's tools on the internet if you want to use them, and as far as I know they still work in 1.9. They didn't change the, uh, the algorithm or anything. Max Dog says Mumbo has some chest glitches. I'm sure he does. They'll need sorting out. Edgy Milk says, Hey X, enjoying the stream and your opinions on the leafy drama. Very insightful. You always seem to approach every situation with compassion and a level head. Uh, keep keep doing 
Uh, what you're doing, awesome. Thank you, Edgy Milk. Yeah, I, I do try and bring compassion and level-headedness into how I approach things. Um, it's so easy to, to not do that, though. Like, it's very easy to be passionate uh, in an instinctive way, right? I need to get rid of these torches. Um, so, I feel like you're pointing out like qualities there that have taken me a long time to develop, and I like want to sort of point out that if if you like the sound of that, like, because that's how I probably describe myself as well. Look for the compassion, be level-headed, try and think things through. Um, it's a bit of a process, but everyone should try, you know, to to do that if they like that. Whoa, hey, easy. They like that way of, of thinking and such, you know. Uh, I love how streamers and YouTubers say we need, we want, we build. That's great. Yeah, because yeah, when we're doing this together, right? That's one of the best things about YouTube is just um, that you do everything with an audience. I get tons of messages saying, "How do you keep yourself interested in?" Uh, yeah, like someone will say, "How do you keep yourself interested in Minecraft?" And I'm like, "You, you're the reason I'm interested," <laughs> because people keep coming along and watching and just making it more fun and enjoyable. Where did you get that much sand? Says uh, Chevaveda. I got it from a desert. And we brought it all over here. Um, sponges. Bam, we got them. Where did you get all those sponges from? <laughs> I got them from this place. Oh. Alright. Yeah, this will be nice. Bam, and easy. Do you know what? I'm not going to waste another sponge. It's just two there, isn't it? And now, uh, if we drop these ones out... Then we'll try and land underneath that. There you go, machines. Put down the torches in a row. And they can land on there. Yeah, that's enough. Excellent. Oh, more things to pick up. Including an apple. Who is helping with the Guardian farm? Uh, we to all says. Oh, just me. I'm the only person working on it. Yeah, I, I, it's, it's, all, it's all right saying, oh, you know... Uh, it should be a community project. Everyone can chip away at it. But I, I think people just aren't interested in doing grindy stuff. It's I'm I'm into this, so I'm the one who's interested in doing it <laughs> as a uh, community project. So I'll probably end up doing it alone. Basically, is what I'm saying, uh, which is fine. Which is fine. Maybe it's pushing me in the direction to build another guardian farm. Oh wow, that landed on top of the chest. That's cool. Cool beans. Right, I could also take out those two. I'm very, like, molecules. <laughs> That's not the right word. Where's all that going to go? It's going to wash all the sand down the hole and create a right mess. Meticulous. That is the word. Yeah, with all these little... Get though every single little block. Right, so this has made a mess. <laughs> oh, here we go again. X, do you relate yourself or are you in the autism spectrum? Uh, relate, they relate to what? To autism. I mean, I've got compassion for people if if they're uh, autistic or, or not. Right, let's chuck down a couple of torches. I think that's the only mess that it made. Yep, that looks like it. Let's go back up the ladder. Uh, hey, X, forgot to tweet the reminder of the Entombed album. I do... Again, now in stream. Sleepy, thank you. I was literally thinking the other day, man, there's an album I need to, to buy. What one was it? It was Entombed. Yeah, I was thinking that live stream. By the way, thanks everyone again for all the music tweets. I've been listening to some interesting music today. Um, now, there was one thing that really caught my attention, but <laughs> I uh, seem to not be able to recall what it was now, which is disappointing. Uh, Pony Butt says, drink your tea. I will drink my tea. Thank you for the reminder. Brandon says, I don't see how he can top Guardfall from Season 2. There isn't, that's that's the problem, there isn't too much innovation to bring to this. I mean, maybe a little bit of brainstorming would help, you know, thinking about what's changed. I did think about using pistons, but I, I, they didn't really, like, give you an advantage at all. You could make something with pistons, but not to any, like, Im improvement? Yeah, improvement of efficiency. So, oh, 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 no, 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 none of that, none of that, no. Leave me alone. <laughs> no, you don't. Bam. Not today. Do you know what? I think they're just going to be a pain because there's loads of them spawning over here now. Yeah, there's loads of them spawning over here. X, is anyone going to help with the Guardian farm? Uh, Natch, we were just sort of answering that a second ago. It's probably unlikely that anyone will if they haven't done already. I mean, I, I said it could be a community project, but 
you, you can you come over here and do this when you're the one building the farm. It seems to be how it goes because no, no one else is particularly interested in it. Anyway, we've got a donation here from Meech29 saying, uh, Mr. Asuma, calm down. My friend, it's okay. I know you are excited about the prospect of teaming up with me on the next UHC. It's normal to be excited, but just a reminder, if you get the chance to be in a team with me, I'm just a normal guy like you. Awesome, Meech, it'd be great to uh, to team up with you on the UHC. It is not too far away. Ah! <laughs> that Guardian knocked me down the edge, didn't he? Uh, I'll tell you what, we'll take a break from doing all of that, because it's a bit boring, to be fair. And I find doing the sand is... Uh, a bit of a tricky one while you're streaming. It's slow, it makes it difficult to read chat. I think what we'll do is um, some speed mining, which is another part of the things that I wanted to do. So we're gonna have to grab a different pick. Should be up in my ender chest. Uh, Meech, thank you for the donation. Yeah, UHC is going to be very soon. Let me think. It is the 2nd of April, so two weeks tomorrow. If you are a subscriber here, um, or a patr patron. I was going to say patron. That's a bit more... Is that an American way of saying it? Uh, either way... Yeah, uh, it's on the 2nd of April. If you're either a subscriber or a patron, then you'll be able to sign up for the Extreme UHC. If you are a subscriber, go to Extreme... No! <laughs> I can never get it right! I can never get it right! Go to assumeavoid.com slash Extreme UHC and you can sign up. Uh, onesie Queen also said... Oh no, it's not Onesie Queen. Are you going to stream UHCs? Nope, they're going to be recorded. And someone, I didn't get to read their name, also welcome to stream Kosha the Cat. Welcome to the stream. Um, someone in chat asked how do you subscribe, there is a button somewhere on the Twitch page, I don't know where. Um, it's not the same, it's not the same as, as YouTube, following is the same as YouTube here. Hey X, who would you consider your best friend on Hermitcraft, if it's not personal of course? Uh, Andrex, I get along with everyone on Hermitcraft, uh, obviously Biffa is like my old chum. <laughs> We, we always like have just a, an easy time recording together, you know? And we've recorded tons of stuff together in the past. I'd love to do uh, Vinyl Fantasy again with, with Biffa. But Vinyl Fantasy 3, where is it? I don't know. I've been waiting on it for, for ages. So, um, we got a noise in my ear. It's Anna Miles here, resubscribing for four months in a row. Absolutely epic support. Thank you so much, Anna Miles. Really do appreciate it. And a donation from none other than Jotato or... Is it really Jotato or is it Jotato underscore? I'm not sure. <laughs> Either way, uh, he says, for for the house fund. Thank you so much, Jotato. Really do appreciate it. Uh, again, update. It's not going well. Just don't have time, really. I need to change things around um, and slow down on the videos a bit, which will happen at some point. Man, all this lava is scaring me. Yeah, the video schedule right now is just... Every day I'm working on something, right? And it's kind of hard not to when you're enjoying it and your channel's doing well because of it. Uh, I don't know if anyone's been looking at my numbers, but stuff's gone a little bit crazy this last couple of months. And, uh, and it's because of all the, all the videos I've been doing and I really enjoy doing them. And it's kind of hard to say no when you're being rewarded for it. Do you know what I mean? So things will change though. Uh, so everyone's going on about my pickaxe. I'm hoping to find some diamonds. Here we go. Coal. Redstone. Good. Let's get some mending on, right? Now, my armor's going to steal a bit. There we go. Now, I think people have been saying that when you've got mending on your armor, it pinches it from... Like, it pinches it anyway, like the XP that you would pick up. So, there was some redstone here. There it is. So we're sort of experimenting here to see if we can repair the pick. We'll probably need to set up some furnaces as well. X, you need to mend your pick. Epic creeper, we are trying to mend it with some XP. Right, let's make... <laughs> let's make some of those. Uh, YOLO says it's... YOLO, YOLO McSwaggins for you says it's my birthday today. X, happy birthday YOLO McSwaggins for you. I hope you have a McSwagging good time. <laughs> Whatever sort of time that is. Uh, happy birthday. Let's let's chuck in right. We're gonna we're gonna use the old smelt while you go as well to uh, keep this thing repaired. We're not gonna go use a, a cheaty XP farm unless we have to. Hex, why don't you ask all your viewers to demand Mojang to re-add something? What was this? The ability to bedrock and dark saplings. Benjineer, I'm not gonna demand that uh, Mojang do something. That'd be a little bit rude, I think, and a little bit of an abuse of power, perhaps. Uh, where is the iron? It's there. It was just the one bit, wasn't it? 
I can hear spiders. More iron. Which is good, but we need to find some uh, some diamonds and some stuff with XP, really. X, what's this? Fulk says X is one of the whitest guys ever. I mean, how, do, how can you even tell? But why am I the whitest guy ever? <laughs> I'm watching... That's that's really racist as well, I think. <laughs> uh, Sabian says, I'm watching season one of Hermitcraft with Generic B. Was surprised to see Biffer on there. You two go way back. Yeah, me and Biffer have been friends since... Oh my god, me and Biffer have been in contact since before I did videos. When I was messaging him to play a game with me and False. Oh, it's so funny going back that far. Uh, we've got a donation. No, sorry, a, a noise in me here. A new subscriber here. It's I'm Catberg97. Subscribing. Thank you so much for doing that. Really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed today's stream. So, yeah, I watched Biffa. He's one of the first YouTubers I watched alongside. <laughs> oh, Fulk says, racist, sad face. It kind of is in a way, in a nice way. I know you didn't mean it bad. I mean, here's, here's the thing about racism, right? Someone can be racist or racism can occur without it being a malicious or ill-intented thing, right? You know? Uh, the the word or term racism doesn't have to connotate something negative. Like, like positive discrimination, for example, is in itself actually a negative thing, now that I bring it up, in a way. Um, but the intent behind it is supposedly good, right? So, yeah, when you say you're the whitest guy ever, it's, it's probably seen as... Uh, you know, just something light and playful, but then if you said if you're the blackest guy ever, then some people might see that as being malicious because of, like, the history of racism, like slavery and stuff, so, um, so yeah, ra racism, <laughs> where, where am I even going with this now? Racism can be racism without it being mean or horrible, right? I think. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's not what the word's actually supposed to mean. Maybe it does mean exclusively mean. I don't know. Uh, what were we were talking about before we went off on one. Um, yeah, so going back to early days of YouTube. Um, oh, if you're into rap, I would recommend Naz, Naz Purple. What record is that from, Sticky Jake? I have all of Naz's records. Naz is probably the best rapper alive, I think. And uh, to anyone who likes hip-hop, you have to listen to Naz Ilmatic. Probably the best hip-hop record ever. Um, let's have a sip. So yeah, I was I was watching uh, like Doc M, Efo, and I found Biffa, because Efo and, and and Biffa used to be boxed, which is where you like promote each other's channel. And uh, and yeah, I messaged Biffa. I was watching his one of his Vex maps playthroughs, super hostile. I was like, oh yeah, me and False are uh, are gonna <laughs> are gonna like uh, play a game together. You should come join us. And he was like, oh sorry, you know I'm. Um, I probably won't have the time to meet up on this, and we were just being like, in a way, sort of like a like a like a fanboy, but not. I don't know. <laughs> and and yeah, and it's quite funny, really, because Force is here on Hermitcraft, and I've known her for the longest time. Before I was making videos, and we played on Geo Mine together, and and then you end up here, and it's like you, you sort of. It's the same with Zuljin, actually. When Zuljin and Force joined, I remember Zuljin saying like, "What took you guys so long? I'm here. Hi." And I was like, yeah, yeah, Zuljin's a great guy. Like, how did this take us so long to to get him on here? Because we've been friends for a long time, do you know what I mean? Um, it'd just be like that, can't it? X, how long will you be streaming? Probably for another hour or so, I imagine. See how my voice holds up as well. Uh, Zabstract says, new player here. was wondering, can I give myself permission to use a command? I tried breaking myself... An OP in the notepad file, and nothing seems to be working. I'm not even sure what you're asking for, Abs uh, Abstract, to be honest. I like the name, though. Uh, we've got a new subscriber here. It is Rocketar. 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 I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Thank you so much for your subscription. I wish I could give you a sword waggle right now. What I can do is swing the sword. I miss sword waggles. It's not the same, is it? <laughs> it is not the same. Either way, thank you so much for your subscription. Uh... Benham says, dual wield torches. If I did that, how would I mine? Oh, I know what you mean. You mean, <laughs> for some reason, I thought you meant torches on both. We're just not finding anything, really. I'm, I'm sort of doing it like this to conserve the pick a little bit, by the way. I know it's not the traditional way, but let's go ham for a second here. Let's go like that. All the way down here. And my pick is still okay. I've got one eye on it, believe me. 
Okay, now it's down into the danger zone. Right, and no more goodies. Been a bit unfortunate, I think. Been a bit unfortunate. I really do think that the armor is stealing some of it. X, uh, X, check your pick's durability. We got that. You can juggle your sword, says Pony. We can juggle. It doesn't have the same charm, in my opinion, as the waggle. Right, let's chuck all these bits in here. And that'll get us some XP. Oh, we also got iron to smelt and stuff as well. And we have another donation here. A noise in my ear. And we'll read it in just a second, because I am crafting. We just put down a couple more of these. Oh, Doc M's on. When did Doc and Efo join? I didn't even notice. <laughs> Looks like they're going for diamonds. Didn't even notice. They should they should use speed mining if they're looking for uh, some diamonds. E Efo will like that, wouldn't he? <laughs> Some of his uh, world famous speed mining down here. Probably the quickest way to get him over here is uh, through the hub. Where do we go? Speed. All right, let's go. Let's go fetch uh, Efo and Doc. Also got a noise in me here. It is pure Chibit saying, "Assuma, the most the the thing people uh, most people. Wow, I can't read this." The thing most people find convenient to forget is when talking about history of slavery, they forget that white people were the first to be taken slaves. I believe that European settlers took Scottish people as slaves before Africa uh, entirely. Yeah, I think your message got cut off. Very good point. History, history is full of and and life in general. Um, in fact, this, yeah. Life is full of things like that. You'll learn about so many contradictions and things over time that make you go, "All oh, right," and ponder on. Um, it's sort of similar to Double Think, but not really. The thing, the thing that's different there, though, is I think that it's. Uh, well, maybe I don't know specifically what you're referring to. Um, you're right. A anyway, the thing I was going to say is that is that what's what's bad about um, slavery is how recent it was, like extremely recent in our in our history, and we still see and feel the effects of what happened in America uh, to this day. Um, yeah, so Night Reaper 1989 says, Hey O X Mumbo plans to come down to Cornwall over the summer for a spot of surfing and the like. Have you any plans of that nature yourself? Maybe you could join him. Um, I have no plans to do surfing. I'm not a, a surfer. I've not really um, done done surfing before. Uh, this is the way, isn't it? Oh, one sec. I think we've got to wait for Efo as well. Either way, thank you for your donation. Um, I, do you know what, at some point, hopefully I'll have the opportunity to try surfing. <laughs> Mr. Slowpoke. Oh. Four minutes of slow mode just made me lurk, says uh, Tom Sparks Labs. I apologise. Chat moves so fast that it's uh, quite quite difficult for me to read. You know, I look at a message and uh, it's moving away already. Hey X, we've got an argument with my girlfriend about the pronunciation of the word sword. Help us out. Do we read the W or not? We are not native English speaking. I, I think I'm getting this right, but it's sword. You don't really... Let's see. Sword. Sword. I... <laughs> you got me there. Um, you don't... You... Well, I'm saying... I think I'm saying it correctly. Sword. But now I'm thinking of other words with SW or just, just S, etc. Um, and yeah, I'm not really sure. <laughs> Estellian says Troll May School. What's this? Oh, I see. Mexico's saying, "What slow mode?" Because he can, he can say what he wants. <laughs> oh, we need some fuel here. I've got no more fuel, haven't I? Right. So let's hold the pick in hand. Let's grab out the uh, stone. <laughs> that is just not enough, is it? We got enough for like three or four more uses. Terrible, terrible stuff. I don't think it's going to last long. I think we need to find a cave, and I think there's a cave right here, actually. Ugh, if I can get my head up there. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we definitely need to do a bit of plundering for a cave. And there's no plunder here. There's iron. I'll take the iron. Or maybe we use the silk touch pick and pick up the ores and, and do it that way around. Right, let's go down here. Uh, what's this? Swing, 
Swing has W, but sword doesn't. Yes, yeah, swing. Although, think of a word with SWO where you say it. Swing and sword. Yeah, there is no W. Sword. I, <laughs> I was trying to think how would it sound with a W, and I couldn't I couldn't get it in my head. Sword. No, it's definitely sword. You don't say the W. There you go. Con confirmation. It's definitely not sword. Now, that thing... Yes, thank you. Redstone. My favourite. I need that XP to keep my pick alive. It's not going to the pick, is it? I reckon the armor's taking it. I'm going to take these off for a moment. Oh, the light's gone. Right, so that what happened that time? I'm not sure if we've got any... Man, look at this troll right here. <laughs> Patching me in. I can play it. I can play that game too. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> uh, we messed up. Forgot to bring efficiency five. Oh, oh dear. Um, oh, okay. And an anvil. I've got an anvil lying around. So we go get some uh, efficiency four books or something. Right, we need some XP though, I think, really, at this point. To heal up the pick. I reckon just a quick journey to Tango's would be the best way to go. Uh, we should also put the armor back on, I guess. Uh, don't fall down. Uh, hey, X, I recommend you listen to Lindsay Sterling. Says, but Benjamin, you are on a roll today. I'll say this every stream. Someone, there's one, one or two people that somehow get their messages picked out more than others. It's Benjamin today. Also, Yolo McSwaggins for you says, X, do a shield waggle. If you miss a sword waggle. Yeah, I need to go grab my sh uh, shield, really, didn't I? Oh, look at this. Look at this. Repairs. Yes. Yes, give me all the repairs. Right, now, we had like 50... F I didn't get any XP from it. Let's take these off again. No, 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 no. No, I'm experimenting. Oi. <laughs> my experiment. We got the XP that time. Oh, what is going on? <laughs> he left one behind. Yeah, I reckon these pinch your XP. I think people are right. It really feels like you're not getting enough. Anyway, we need to go to the orange area. No, orange, brown, orange. It's definitely orange. Definitely orange. I think they're probably going to the same place. <laughs> oh, Wait, I'd better ask. <laughs> In which case, we might need to get our XP from somewhere else. Let's see what they say. Oh, they are. Oh, well, we got to get our XP from somewhere else then. <laughs> hmm, just wondering. Uh, Darkoon Star says, assume if you have army, depending on what has mending, you have a 1 and X chance, X how many pieces of mending, for the XP to go to that item. So if you have two pieces, your pick uh, gets XP 1 in 3 times. Yeah, Darkoon Star, I think we'll have to look into the game code a bit there to figure that one out. I've got a friend who's been helping me out with it, actually. I should probably ask him about that. I, I want to <laughs> figure that one out quicker than anything else at the moment, I think. Uh, Anonymous Gamer says, Princess Aoife and Sir Doc, you mean? Yeah, sorry. Princess Aoife and Sir Doc, of course. T Monkey T says, modded. Uh, this is a modded monkey, you know that. <laughs> now, we could kill some uh, Pikmin. <laughs> actually, just probably roaming around at night with this on my offhand would be a good good way of uh, let's go let's go to let's go to the orange area if we hang around there maybe when doc and Efo are done we can pop down and and try it impulses and xp farm slash skeleton that's absolutely true we can use impulses so let's wander in that direction yo x you can use lava buckets as fuel absolutely i'm aware of that right um so that's the way to orange so yeah we'll have a little wander this way then over that direction will be impulses I see a nice bridge. I see some buildings popping up. That's cool. I don't think Tango's done too much more in his building. Exo, speaking to folks. All right, Team Monkey. Sorry, I didn't realise. Yeah, I, I am not going to be on a Sumanati for a while, am I? Or maybe maybe next week. I don't know. It just I'm just hooked on uh, Hermitcraft right now, you know. And my thing lately has just been following what's 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 fun. So yeah, anyway, 2,100 people here watching today. Thank you everyone for coming by and checking it out. Do appreciate you all uh, coming over to watch. Of course, hit that follow button if you haven't done so already. I think Wells Knight is... Oh, I just realised that I'm totally 
I'm totally doing exclusive previews. <laughs> That's what we call them now. I just did an exclusive preview. Oh, I'm going to say that to him. <laughs> Does that sound dirty in a way? I just did an exclusive preview on your face. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so bad now that I've said it. Oh, I feel like I've like decimated his base somehow. Uh I have <laughs> desiccate uh decimated defecated is what I meant to say. I have no idea how to fix this very sorry. Mumbo, what are you doing blowing up people's you gotta put down the spruce wood. What's he on about no idea how to fix this? It's repeated the whole way across. Oh, silly Mumbo. <laughs> Chess Balls says, thank you, extra streaming. No problem at all. Oh my god, that looks really cool. <laughs> it looks like the side of a stadium. I mean, exclusive previews everywhere today. Who's that over there? There's someone down there. That'll be Impulse. Who's that? Is that Doc? <laughs> it's Doc M. What are you doing? He's not going to Impulses, are ya? <laughs> what are they doing here? <laughs> I think they're going to Impulses too. Oh, they probably came over here to enchant, perhaps, or find an anvil? I'm not sure. Why well, am I looking through his chest? Wow, Impulse is doing all the farms. Green Rock says, I can't stop laughing. <laughs> oh, we might as well go over to that XP farm, then, if they're not using that. <laughs> oh, anyway, I'm going to have a quick exclusive... Oh, exclusive preview of that over there as well. Now I'm stuck. No, I'm not. Quick. Cake to here, to there, to those. Right, what is that? That looks so cool. Honestly, it's making me like think of a stadium. It really does remind me of like stadium architecture. That's, I'll tell you what, there's not much behind it. We'll leave it at that because that looks really cool. So, anyway, let's go to the XP farm then. What are those guys doing if they're not getting XP? Oh, this area needs some love, by the way. At our next meeting, I'm gonna push like figuring out what we're doing in the white area and maybe encourage some uh, like other areas to get developed but basically uh, over the coming months because we have a meeting every month if we can like crack on at one district at a time and finish it all up make it look good I mean there's so much to be done here so where are they going now now they're going to the white area I don't think they know what they're doing I think they're looking for an enchanting table uh, pony says eat more you derp oh, I do need to eat more don't I the Unlucky Wizard says it's Impulse's base, I guess. Yeah, it might be, actually. I remember him saying something about a bridge between the two areas. <laughs> Anna Miles. The area needs love, as in the area needs beautification, purdification. It needs some attention, right? <laughs> needs some care. Uh, Zombie Hero says, how long did it take to make this? This rules, rules people. What is that? What is this? Uh, let me know specifically what you're asking, because by the time I read chat, I might be doing something different. <laughs> Mortix says, white area, racist. <laughs> oh, that reminds me of that uh, Doc Brown rap, where, it, where everything's racist. Oh, it creases me up. Uh, anyway, we are here. Uh, we are on man... Right, so why did they come over here and then leave the place? I don't know. There used to be a torch there. I'm putting it back. I hope this thing still works. There we go. I can hear a spider. Alright, so Dragon says, quick question, what are we doing? Uh, we are getting some XP to heal up my pick that desperately needs it. Also, I'm going to take this stuff off while we're here. So we can heal it up a bit quicker, I think. Measure, uh, Mumbo's treasure room can be under that bridge, says Cyan Mine. Okay. I don't know where it is. I still don't know what the deal with the treasure room is. It's on auto, not manual. You're right. What am I doing? I'm being a derp. Okay, now it's on the right one. Cheers, Pony. Right, let's have a sip of tea. It's cold, but it's still tasty. Sabel Cashew says, Dear X, do you remember me? I recognise the name. Maurice says, Donations. Uh, we haven't had an... Oh, no, we haven't had a new one. Uh, Bog says, Farm is on auto mode. Absolutely, we changed it now. Some of you are requesting for uh, Skype with Doc and Evo. Those guys are probably on here getting ready to record some videos, so... I'll leave them to it, you know. They might not even know that I'm live streaming as well. I don't know. 
Oh, Mum, uh, Tango removed his little baby filter here. We were supposed to do a collab and rename them all and put them somewhere. Falk says, has Pony become X's carer? She's looking after him so well. Oh, cheeky, Forks, cheeky. <laughs> By the way, Pony has done some amazing drawings. The latest one that she showed me just... I, I looked at it, I was like, oh, that's... It made my heart melt. <laughs> it was really, really good. It was of Little Romeo as well. You'll all see it eventually. We're making making some t-shirt designs. Uh, Leluji Le says, Hey, X, for your house, maybe you could have a guard tower on the side of your house. The walls of the guard tower could be the pattern of the walls in your house. The roof could be like the roof of your house, and maybe on top of it, a dragon perch there. By the way, it's a little off-topic. It's not off-topic. It's all good. Um, I am going to build a tower with a wizard hat on top of it, and maybe a dragon later on. So... The, the the wizard ta tower might satisfy your need for a tower on the side. Uh, Snorkel Lipoka says, Can you pronounce my name? Probably not. I probably got that wrong. Ponybutt says, I am Pony. This is true. You are Pony. DC says, or, or Chibi, DC Chibi says, I'm glad you like my log fellas fan art as well. X yeah, that was brilliant. That was brilliant. Um... I want to share that with everyone now. If you go to my Twitter, let's turn on the volume here. If you go to my Twitter and just look through my feed a little bit, there's some beautiful uh, Logfellas artwork in there, really stylish stuff. Right, time to unleash vengeance upon the skeletons. That was not a lot of vengeance, was it? Right, heal my pick already. There's really not a lot here. You have to go away, do something else, and then come back to get the XP that you need. Now these guys take a little bit longer to kill, so we'll focus on them. Awesome Creeper says, I hate log fillers. Why? The log fillers are great. Don't hate the log fillers. We're here for your entertainment. Why aren't you killing anything, says uh, Scar Scared Carrot. Because if you wait, you can kill them all with a few less swings of your sword, basically. Now that really isn't enough to go speed mining. <laughs> I want to be done with this already. I guess we'll have to stand here and just keep waiting. Release vengeance in small bursts, says that pixel. Indeed. Isn't your sword now taking the XP? It might actually be affecting it as well. I think you might be right there. Oh, mending. <laughs> it is It is good, but we're finding some flaws of it, I guess. Awesome Creeper says, I hate fake drama. Is real drama better then? Because in fake drama, no one gets hurt. And you can be more creative, I guess. <laughs> you could probably be creative in, in real drama. Uh, Fox says, people, if you have Twitter and aren't following Pony Butts, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> uh, Reactive Al says, Asuma, are you an Assam man? Is Biffa recording this season? There is always a first for everything. You haven't tried something, you can't say pants. Radioactive, I'm drinking an Assam tea right now. I am well into the ways of drinking a Sam like every day several times edgy milk says I like the Meshuggah video you did X could you possibly do a reenactment for us oh I can't I can't do the well actually I originally did it with this but it was like do 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 yeah <laughs> uh, if you want to know what on earth I'm on about my second channel has a video on it called Asuma a true de gentleman if you like the gent music check it out uh, if you just fancy watching something weird and different, go watch it. It's funny. I'm going to do another one of those, Edgy Milk. I'm going to do another one uh, to another Mushuga song. I've got a funny idea for it. But yeah, on my second channel, I've been thinking about it for a while. Just whenever I have like silly little goofy ideas, because I was just listening to the music, and I ended up like sword waggling along with the music, <laughs> which is not a normal thing to do, but you know, I'm someone who like, taps their feet along to the beat and plays along kind of thing. Um, and then I just thought I'd make it into a video, and it turned out to be really fun. So that's possibly enough to keep us going. Let's read chat for a little bit here. Uh, Snake Eyes says, Haha, the G gentleman was great. It was great, wasn't it? <laughs> Dylan says, This music is terrible. Can you change it, bro? I'm not going to change it. This music is lovely. Soothing, relaxing, and slow. I like it. Uh, Jonas Game says, Your XP bar is going up too. Strange. Yeah, the mending doesn't work constantly. It's like every other. Something like that. <laughs> Random user says, did you hear about the guy whose left side was cut off? He's alright now. Sourced from the internet. Brilliant joke. Uh, do you really say degent like degent? Yes. 
I mean, I don't know how else to say it, really. I've just always sort of... I've heard other people call it Degent 2. Uh, Mini1025 has resubscribed for two months in a row. Let's give it some juggle. Getting some juggle going on. Thank you so much for your support. I hope you have a great time in this stream. We're not going to be here for too much longer now. I think I need to uh, just get the rest of this XP and move on. Use a different source, says S Dog. I could, but I can't be bothered. <laughs> anyway, we need to investigate how it works because I'm not sure if it's taking the XP or, or there's just less chance of picking it up when the XP drops, i.e., it goes to your meter instead. In which case, for speed mining, we don't want mending on our armor. But we'll have to figure it all out. There we go. So I reckon that's enough to do what we've got to do this stream. So let's swap those around. Let's uh, remember to take our armor off later. Autism Father says, I think you have too much stuff with mending. Not not enough XP to go around without it taking forever. Absolutely right. I think we need to create multiple sets of armor then for different jobs. You know, like have the, the mending and non-mending gear. Um, that being said though... When the mending, when the non-mending stuff takes damage, you'll have to repair it eventually, which is something I don't ever want to do again. Uh, Mo Mobu four U three says Doom with some love hearts. Absolutely, Doom is incredible. You should make a train station. There is a great tutorial on YouTube. Says Maverick Boy. Uh, a train station project would be nice, actually. I'd like to have a central one in the white area to get out to all the others. Do I hear a myth busting coming on? You probably do. I'm gonna sneeze. Gonna mute my mic. Well, that was disgusting. <laughs> Let's continue. Uh, Leo says, Hey, X, I've had some problems with connecting wither skulls. I've been using Looting Free and must have killed over 50 wither skeletons, but I haven't got anything which is really bugging me. Just stick at it, Leo. It takes a long time, sometimes a lot more than 50 to uh, to get your skull. But yeah, just, just stick at it. You'll be alright. Okay, down we go. Are there a Doc and Aoife over here? I don't think they are. And we can get some more XP here. But first, let's continue mining. So, I don't know what direction we're going to go in. We're just going to do this bit right here. I'll also take these off. Which means we have to be a little bit careful. Diamonds! Oh my god! Oh my god, good luck charm. Bam! There you go. Woohoo! <laughs> that is a nice way to start. That is a nice way to start. Once you have a proper OP XP farm, it will be super easy to repair everything at once. Uh, Fragrant Badger, it will. It will. I mean, I've learned that, that that gold farm in the in the uh, in the Nether is so amazing, isn't it? it? Now that we don't have it, I've forgotten how incredibly good it is. All right, we'll take these. We will take all of these. Yeah, I feel like my pick's getting healed up now. Also, there's loads of blocks everywhere. So there you go. <laughs> Support says, what have I missed? Uh, we've mostly been doing mining up above in the Ocean Monument. We've now sort of been going around getting some XP, repairing our gear. We've do just been doing bits and bobs, really. Um, getting some, some wood as well, setting up a tree farm, like a crude one. Mm, excuse me, and we want to put some of that in there. X, the old gold farm won't work now, will it? Yep, yeah, it still works. The Donut 2.0. Yeah, I, do you know what? I don't want to build the same farm again. I'm happy to go without it, to be honest, because I want to do something different each time. It's one of the reasons I'm hesitant to do another guard fall, is that I've already done that, although I didn't really get to use that one. Like, the project was the, the fun bit, right? You know, Season 3 XB had the farm sorted out for everyone, so it was all good. Let's put another torch down. This time we're finding all the stuff, aren't we? X, could you talk about armor enchantments changes in which is better to go for oh my days more diamonds oh look at that we are having all the luck good luck stream that's that's what you guys are you're my good luck streamers or stream watchers <laughs> oh look at that that's great all the diamonds next to coal there's that old myth that you'll find them next to coal and it's a load of nonsense it's a load of nonsense now i was just thinking like you might say it's a load of horse s or or, or BS, uh, but we need like a Minecraft term for that. It's a load, load of old gunpowder, <laughs> or a load of old rotted flesh. <laughs> there's there's going to be a good one out there for that. Austin says, bam! Bam indeed, Austin. Bam all the way. Bam for diamonds. 
Man, I'll pick. Look at our pick. It's getting healed up. Well and truly getting healed up now. We've sussed it out. You've got to take your armour off. Right. I'll take all of that. Thank you. So where should we mine next? Because we, it's quite a few times I've stepped into this area and just like breezed a little bit, found some diamonds, done it twice in a row. Should we, should we push our luck and just go pick like a random corner and hopefully find some diamonds behind it? Pony Butt says load of diorite. Absolutely, it's a load of old diorite that. <laughs> Brilliant. I like it. It's a load of boats, says Joe Tato. Yeah, boats are the, were the joke. The old joke of forever. Whoa, that is slow. I've not seen water move that slow f before. <laughs> that was really slow. Oh, hey X, uh, combine a blaze farm with a super smelter. Maybe that's something you could do. I've not seen water move slow like that before. Maybe we need to restart. I need to check that the restart every 30 minutes thing is actually still on. That might have been turned off by mistake. I noticed it gets turned off sometimes. But yeah, basically the server restarts when no one's on it every 30 minutes, which is a smart thing to do. There we go, pick it all up. Let's see what they say. Dragon says, damn, somewhere you find this. Where, where do I find what? What is the this? <laughs> Dio says, haha, that cute face. Never seen a Sumo do that. Normally I put a nose in. I put a little dash for the nose. Hey, X, I want to get better at building, but I'm not very creative. And I'm not very good at building. What would you recommend? Andrex is all about sticking at it, trial and error. Keep building until you get something that you like. You've got to enjoy the process of building something horrible, tearing it down, and then building something that's not quite as horrible, and then tearing that down and building something that's definitely not as bad as the last two that you did. That's... That's how you learn to build, and then eventually you'll pick up the, the tips, the, the tricks and the techniques and all that stuff, and you'll figure out the block combinations. It's all about trial and error. Uh, of course you can learn from other people as well, but sometimes that doesn't work for everyone. For me, it's much more... I get inspiration from other people, but when I have to build it my own way, it's trial and error. Right, now we need to make some torches. Which we can do. Uh... Re Rewind Flow says, not trial and error, uh, trial and improvement. Yeah, yeah, trial and improvement. Well, yeah, I think that's sort of what trial and error means anyway, isn't it? Like, trial and error until you rule out all the errors. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. You could probably express the, the specifics there a little bit different. Let's go fill up the chests. May School says, yep, diamonds. Yep, we got some diamonds. What is, <laughs> we got them a while ago. Uh, L L Loshko says, watch Coralis's Minecraft Let's Build, that's all you need. Yep, Coralis's Let's Builds are pretty good. Uh, Tesla says, how do you find your new music? For example, uh, is there some newsletter you subscribe to or a blog? Like, how do you find new stuff? I use Apple Music right now. Just wanted to know how you go about gathering ear candy. Ear candy, love it. Eight time trying to get you to read this. Tesla, chat is just like that today. Uh, I, I mean... It's hard to say because I'm just so... I constantly seek out, like... You know, I constantly just read Wikipedia and look at different genre names and try and find stuff that sounds interesting and check them out on YouTube or whatever. Like, I just actively look in places for it. Whenever there's something on YouTube that's recommended to you, I'll check it out. And uh, I follow... I follow... I don't really read blogs or anything or follow a newsletter. I, I get emailed whenever uh, an artist that I've subscribed to releases a record, which helps me keep in track. Uh, I've, I watch The Needle Drop, which is a great source of music as well. Like, uh, If ever I feel like listening to something new, I just check out whatever he's listened to and quite often I find the way he describes stuff will accurately let me know if it's for me or not. It's rare that he'll say something that catches my interest about an artist and then I'd listen to them and be disappointed. So... Yeah, that's that's some of the ways I guess I go about it. It's kind of hard to say because I don't do the specifics of following uh, a magazine or something. Oh, I'm supposed to be holding the pick, but you know, I just I read articles, I, I look up stuff. Right, we didn't get more iron that time, did we? We did get some stone. We'll chuck that in here and 
Uh, yeah, that'll, that'll do for now. We need an ender chest down here. Front runner says donation bar is dead. Yep, it breaks after so long for some reason. Uh, we've got a donation here, a noise in my ear from Night Reaper 1989 saying, Have you found a solution for the skeleton horses in the spawn chunks yet? Uh, no, I haven't. However, now that you say it, like, I'm aware that it's a problem, but every time that I think about it being a problem, it's like a, you know, Mo Yang didn't think that one through fully. But yeah, there might be a solution to it. Like, I don't know, maybe you could set up a trap to automatically kill them. I don't know. If, if you guys don't know what we're talking about, in 1.9, your spawn chunks will fill up with skeleton horses because when thunderstorms happen, they happen in the spawn chunks and the mobs are persistent, so they don't despawn. And therefore, they stay there for ages. Yeah. What are you doing, Asuma? Says Danger Man 2015. We're just having a little bit of a dig. Just looking for some diamonds down here. We've got some redstone, but no diamonds this time. I jinxed it when I said I was going to go get some again when I went to a different area. <laughs> Doesn't work like that. But hey, we've got some diamonds, so it's good. Apparently that's all the stuff. Whoa! Did anyone say yes to a restart? No. <laughs> Luckily, the uh, slow speed of the, the lava there kind of favoured us a bit, didn't it? X, what is your Y level? We are at Y10. Best place to mine for diamonds. Pinybutt says maybe you should have a command block that will kill skeleton horses in the spawn chunks every so often. A good idea if it's a problem for you, but you might accidentally kill a player's one. Wells Knight says, hey Sky, is your landscaping business open yet? Okay, he's still going to Scar. Yo X, do you watch any other games on Twitch besides Minecraft? I don't even watch Minecraft on Twitch. Like Streaming is something I don't actually watch, I just do it. I have watched streaming on occasion though, and I think... I think I just maybe need to, you know, tune in from time to time and see what's going on. But often I haven't really... I don't know, I like the video the video format because I know what I'm going to get to an extent when you tune in. Whereas streaming, you're not quite sure what's going on. Sometimes I've tuned in and seen some cool stuff. I really like StarCraft. I, I wish I could watch more tournaments. But I don't really know when the big ones happen. So I can't keep up with them. <laughs> yeah, StarCraft, really cool game. Okay. Aha, someone's been here. We'll, we'll check out and go see what they've seen and pick up that as well. Let's put on our armor here. Don't want to lose any diamonds. Where's my bucket of water? I hear a zombie moaning here. Oh, okay. Water's flowing good again, apparently. Uh, what do you have to say about replacing the gold in Mumbo's Triangle to clay? American Farmer, I did no such thing. I was framed. I was not on the computer at the time. That was someone else using the computer. And I said, no, don't do that. That's Mumbo's gold. It wasn't me. How many FPS do you get? I get that many. Uh, 567 FPS. Right. I'm sure that changes depending on where we are in the world, though. So this won't get us as much uh, repair on the mending because we've got our armor on now. But hey, we'll collect it. And I imagine whoever's run through here... Oh, no, no, they haven't collected the redstone. Fair enough. More coal over there. The mine shaft I'm interested in, though. There might be some chests. And maybe a few other goodies. There's rails are the things that I like to pick up in mine shafts. Rails are good, especially when you don't have an iron farm. Assume I make a slow redstone clock command... And you need a scoreboard to execute and kill. Yeah, the problem is if what if a player is uh, it's a player's skeleton horse that they're riding around, right? How would you distinguish it? You'd have to the player would have to uh, rename it, which you can't rely on them doing. They might not have a name tag, so it's a bit of a flawed idea. X on your Hermitcraft video, what's the intro music? I really want to know. Go to the description box of any Hermitcraft episode, and the link is there for you. It is all in the description box. It's by Jotan, by the way. Really good, really good music. I think someone's ransacked this area, but not the iron. What are they playing at? They've taken the rails, but not the iron. I don't understand. I don't understand that. All the golds. What's going on? Free pickings. I'll take it all. They were just not interested in anything but diamonds, I imagine. We've seen too much of that this season. People going around and not collecting like the diamonds or more iron excellent we want all of this we want all of it 
Alright, I might get a little bit lost in here if I'm running around. Uh, Baslex says, X, what is the name of the song in the last time lapse? It was an 8 bit song. It is uh, the Summer of the Troll, which is a song by Orang, and it's an 8 bit version that he sent to me. I don't know, I think there's a video of it on YouTube, but I don't think you can download it anywhere. It's uh, just a little 8 bit one that he did and sent it my way and said, You'll probably like this. And I was like, Yep, I probably will. <laughs> and I did. It was good. I liked it. Xandor says, Suma, isn't there a way to only kill skeleton horses? Without a saddle, by checking their inventory slot. There you go, great idea. Yeah, that's a, that's a terrific solution. That's a really good one. Man, and there is just iron all over this place. Exactly what I want. We're still in range of the beacon, which is great. So we can always go down to Y10 and dig towards, you know, whatever direction keeps us in range until we find the beacon again. If we're lost. More iron! Yes, please. I feel like we're on an iron raid right now. We're getting loads of it. Ha, I can hear some cheeky guardians swimming around in the water up there. Oh, does this go? Is this it? Bam, there you go. We found our way back over here. Alright, I think we'll... Slimes! We're at a slime chunk. That's no longer an exciting prospect because we've got the slime farm that Impulse made. So we don't even need this anymore. Because it used to be like, at last, some slimes. a cha take that. Am I not picking these up? Dirty do all right, off you go. You've been eliminated from the inventory. Assume have you ever noticed the last build? Uh, what's this? The last time, but... Did you know fortune will affect the drops from carrots, potatoes and beetroot? I did know that. Only gives the seeds, though. So you don't get extra food from wheat and beetroot. But you'll get extra carrots and potatoes. Hmm, interesting. Not sure quite how that works, but yes, Fortune, they eventually fixed it to make, well, fixed it, changed it to make Fortune work on that. Uh, Jonathan Thomas says, hashtag Iron Raid. <laughs> I like it. It's a good hashtag. Tom Sparks says, bird poop. It is, it is bird poop, isn't it? You mentioned you like StarCraft, Asuma. How about other RTS games like Age of Empires or Empire Earth? Played Age of Empires. The second one is brilliant. Um, Command and Conquer, StarCraft, the games I played back then. I really love the custom maps on StarCraft. Uh, we've got a donation here from Rocky Avalon saying, Why not build a fishing farm in the shopping district? You can have them pay one diamond for each hour of AFKing and use hopper timers to automate it and kick them out. Just an idea, and since not all of the hermits have their own fishing farm, I'd, I'd say I'd, I'd rather just let them have it for free. Interesting idea to offer up like time on a farm for diamonds. I imagine if you did that with the donut, it would be a riot. People would love it. They'll pay diamonds galore to use the donut. <laughs> like a, a diamond entry fee. That would be a good. A diamond a day. If you go to the donut on this day, deposit a diamond. That would be a money maker. I like it. Anyway, thank you so much for the donation. Um, that sounds cool. Teen Tech says, hey X, I'm a musician. Do you want me to make you a jingle? Um... Now, because I love music so much, I'd be incredibly fussy about using it. <laughs> uh, so don't don't bother making me anything um, specifically. A few people have made me like remix songs and stuff like that, which I love. I adore them. Um, I used to play them in the pre-stream, but now I've been picking out all sorts of crazy random tunes. Um, yeah, I do. I do want to do a little bit of something with music though, but I might compose some things myself. That being said, I'll have to wait until I uh, set up a, like my studio again because it's. It's a wreck. It's not even existent. I can't. I don't think I can even properly play all of my old songs um, on the on the door. However you say it, Digital Audio Workstation. Right. Let's uh, let's yeah. Let's head back up top. I feel like I need to pick something else up. Wait. What was I doing? I was just doing stuff without thinking. <laughs> I do that a lot. Iron. I want. And um, we'll take all of this up. Yeah. Whatever. Let's just go up top. I think my brain is starting to to melt. <laughs> Uh, uh, run, run. Noel says, "I'm song the donut. It's taken me a while to build." I think I think you're saying you're building the donut and it's taking you a while. Yeah, it's a big old farm to build, right? So anyway, let's deposit our goodies up here. That was well and truly worth it. Look at all that iron. Let's get that smelted up already. What song is playing right now? X says the hacker. Um, let's have a look. The song is bubbles. Uh, the the Golem Spy says, "What's the IP to Hermitcraft?" It is seven. That's it. Literally just one number. 
Cool Dude says, Hey X, how's your day? I've made this account just to ask you if you'll respond, I'll be very happy. Well, you you've asked you've made this account just to ask me how's how's my day. My day's been great, thanks for asking. I've been very busy working on a myth busting episode and getting lots of other bits and bobs done in between. And <laughs> we got a new subscriber here is C418 with a nuke. What's that about? C418 with a nuke. <laughs> Thank you so much for subscribing. Do appreciate it. I love C418's music. Great, great stuff. Also, another noisy me here. We have NHL for life. Nugget donating, saying, "Hi X, I've been watching. I've been watching for around a month and had no idea you streamed. Love the videos, man. Uh, thank you so much, buddy, for coming in and checking it out. I do do streaming. I stream every other day. If it's a weekend, I'll be streaming on the morning." However, this Sunday we've got the live stream day, so I'll be streaming on Hermitcraft underscore instead of on this channel. And uh, and yeah, thanks for, thanks for letting me know that you've been watching for about a month. Because there have been a lot of people joining over the last month. Yeah. <laughs> Rocky Avalon says, Mozart's with a gun is still greater. I agree, Mozart's with a gun was an incredible username. Either way, thank you so much for your donation, buddy. I hope you have a great time on the stream. I reckon what we should do now is take on some guardians but I want to go through the portal before I do that so uh, where is my sponge my sponge is probably down here there we go right so we're gonna go through the portal to unload the area and then come back through again I think will work yeah sounds about right Hobo Joe says hey X what is your opinion on the fight with H3, H3 and Leafy, uh, we talked about this a lot in today's stream. So if you missed all of that, this will be uploaded to my second channel, which you can find the link to on my first channel, or just look in the description box of any video. Um, yeah, so if you're interested in catching that, um, then it will be up there later today or tomorrow, depending on when it gets accepted and I can publish it. Uh, so we're going to go over this way. What am I doing? Also, I'm going to need some more food at some point. So yeah, anyway, if you guys don't know, if you're watching here perhaps on Twitch, we've got 2,200 people watching. Thank you to all of you for coming and checking me out here on Twitch. Of course, hit that follow button if you haven't done so. I stream every other day, as I said um, a moment ago. And yeah, so I do YouTube primarily. I make lots of uh, YouTube videos, do a Let's Play here on the Hermitcraft server, and do like sciencey videos, tutorials, that kind of stuff on Minecraft. And i also got a second channel as well, where I put all the live streams that I do. Um, so... Yeah, check either of those out if they interest you. Right, so we're going to pop down into these rooms now. Oh, and done! Like that! Bam! Room conquered! See you later! <laughs> that was easy. Let's try the next one. So was that one, one little room just isolated by itself? Because I guess it's probably generated that way if it is. Okay, oh. You're in my face. And... Boom! All conquered. Right, so what's the other side of this wall? More. More stuff to do. Oh, this is a big one. Look. Oh, is that a sponge? No, that's sand. Hi. There's guardians in here. So let's clear this out from the other side, and then we'll we'll think about tackling the area. Uh, we've got another noise in here. It is Hardcore MVP resubscribing for five months in a row. Thank you for the epic support, buddy. we got to watch out for that cheeky little guardian. Let's go give him a hug. How about a hug, guy? Do you want a hug? Get in the water so I can slap you. <laughs> Bam! Oh, it didn't work. His fawns weren't in. There you go. That's the way. Push them in the water and hit them when their fawns are uh, retracted. So I do want to get rid of a little bit. Yeah, you can't really do that here. It all sort of reforms, doesn't it? How about that? Is that helping? I don't think it did. <laughs> Just all sort of comes back again, doesn't it? Oh, no. There you go. It is making a difference. Right. Oh, we can... We can clear out this top platform bit then. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> I haven't been placing these terribly efficiently, have I? Uh, but we're making a little bit of progress, I guess. Yeah, there you go. And one there. Why not? All good. Right. Let's sort this area out back here. Hi! Uh, we'll hit you with a bow, because your fawns are bad. There we go. So, Mudgale says, just got here, what did I miss? Not too much. Actually, no. Quite a lot. 
we cleared out tons of this Guardian Farm area over here, or, or Ocean Monument. We've been speed mining. We saw Doc and Efo on the server wandering around. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It's street. The thing with streams is there's nothing terribly eventful to talk about, but we chatted about loads of things. <laughs> We've got a donation here from Rocky Avalon saying, Trump, 2016. He's trying to get me started. He's trying to get me started on Trump. <laughs> Let's not do that today, Rocky. Appreciate the donation, but man... Let's not talk about Trump. I don't want a headache. I don't want a headache. Uh, Josh Green says, Please answer me. I've asked this question for the last hour. Why don't you do an Ice Spikes biome base? I think that would be really cool. Uh, Mumbo did that last season on Hermitcraft. No, he didn't. No, he didn't, did he? He built it on a... Alright, so he built in a swamp, but he brought Ice Spikes to it. Um, it would be cool, but I've already got my base like planned out, so I'm not going to do another one. What you've got to remember is you got an idea but so have loads of other people and so have I got an idea. If I ask for ideas, like let's say I didn't know what I was going to do then um, you could of course like let me know but otherwise I'm going to stick to doing like what I'm doing already, right? Okay, so I came up here to get a different pick. I've just remembered why because we want Silk Touch to get a few bits and bobs. Who else is on the server right now, says Manka. we got Doc, Efo, Good Times with Scar, and Impulse SV. Also, I think Wells Knight's sort of been on and off a bit as well. High Spec says he's had the week off. Awesome. I hope you enjoyed it. Can you say... Cup of granite? <laughs> no, I can't say that word. It means camel in Lithuanian. And do you know that... Do you know what onesie means? Because a lot of people don't, says Onesie Queen. Uh, a onesie is like a... Uh, it's like pyjamas, isn't it? Sort of all-in-one pyjama thing is a onesie. That's that's what I know a onesie as. Um, hey, X, not to be rude, but do you know if Efo does Twitch? Uh, freaking happy. I think he likes Twitch, like, based on things that he said. Um, but his internet's not good enough for it. I also know he, he streams very occasionally without announcing it. And, and I've never been able to catch it myself. I've always wanted to see one of his streams. I watch his videos, I like his videos. It's interesting to see what people are like in a stream. As well as like the videos. Oh man, all the blocks. We're going to sell all the blocks because they're all ours. We're coming over here, pinching all of these prismarines. So many. Hey X, are you going to build a passive mob farm anytime soon? Yeah, do you know what? That should probably be my first technical project, right? I think maybe I'm a little bit burned out from the project that we didn't finish because... As much as I enjoyed that, we didn't get to see it run. We didn't get to have any of the benefits of it. I mean, Godfall was at least done in an impressive way. Like, it was finished all the way, and it was like, yeah, you know, that's that's a great farm. But the passive mob farm had a fair way to go. So I guess maybe I feel a little bit burned out about it, because every now and then when I think about it, I'm like, nah, I'm not really in the mood to start that just yet. I mean, maybe if I find a smaller one to build, that'd be great, because the other one was humongous, and after you see it, um, you know, get unused, it can be a bit disheartening, I guess, to do a project like that again. X uh, says, cool dude, slow mode equals torture, don't do it. I have to do it, man, I cannot, I would not have read your message if it wasn't for slow mode, put it that way. Chat moves so fast, and you've got 2,200 people watching, um... That you just you just gotta have slow mode on, so when you read the messages, they're not disappearing. Ender Mayhem says, "How much time left?" I don't know. I, I feel like continuing, so I don't know. I can't tell you. What have I missed? Says I'm a proxy plays. Lots of stuff. Lots of conversation. Lots of digging. Diamonds. All kinds of things. Let's get rid of those random blocks up there. They're annoying me. Uh, Low. It says, "Hey X, do you?" What do you do for a living, or can you can you live off your gaming? Keep it up, mate. Thank you, buddy. Um, I, I do this for a living, believe it or not. It's incredible. Again, thank you to all of you for all your support, allowing me to do this by coming out and uh, and watching the videos and hanging out on the live streams. Yeah, this is, this is my job. It's crazy, I know. Uh, we've got a donation here from Rocky Avalon saying, Do a live myth-busting to see whether you can kill Doc and Efo with a wooden sword. Rocky, I, I am not going to do that. <laughs> that would just be mean. I appreciate the donation. You've been very generous today, but I cannot go and kill on request. Uh, those guys are probably recording a video as well. Yeah, I'll tell you what, there's like the equivalent of the death games on the server, and I haven't signed up for it yet. It'll be interesting to see who does. 
Um, I feel like I feel like Hermitcraft's a bit different to that. Like we're not sort of on here to randomly kill each other, <laughs> which kind of sounds like possibly every server. But do you know what I mean? Oh, Combat Killer says that's awesome. You deserve that. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. Uh, Argumentum says X. What if you? What would you do for a job if you didn't do YouTube? I don't know what I'd be doing. <laughs> I haven't got a clue. Uh, I would possibly do what I did before. I don't know. I really don't know. I'm just glad that I do this. Uh, however, I do know that after YouTube, I'll be doing my music again. Because that's what I was doing before I started YouTube. And I definitely want to get back to that at some point. Right, someone was targeting me there. Okay, these are the blocks that are going. Excellent. Right, let's do another little like quality check of the area. We've got this little like groove over here that's been dug out. Similar one on that side. And yeah, there's like a, a trim here I could get rid of, but I'll leave that alone. Yeah, it's all looking alright, isn't it? Uh, X, have you ever considered the bot that gives your viewers an amount of coins depending on how long they've watched in the stream and at any point they can redeem them? Dark Hacty, I absolutely want to do that. I heard about that bot a long time ago, but I wanted to... Uh, customize it or do it differently from the way that they offered because I wanted to do something different with how I uh, reward people who stick around and watch but because um, I want something custom it will probably take a long time to get uh, so I don't have that bot unfortunately uh, but I'd love to do that I, I've said so many times I want to invest more time and I just don't know how to go about doing that <laughs> so yeah uh, X will you clean up the never the Sacred Carrot, the Nether is on Tango this season. He said he was going to do a hub. I don't know when it's going to arrive. I'm looking forward to it though. I hope it's sooner than later because like the hub's the hub's all right when it's like it is now, but as soon as it's done, it's just going to be gorgeous. So yeah. <laughs> just got in here. What have I missed, says Keonte. Uh Lots of conversation. Everyone is tuning in asking what's going on. Lots of conversation. Lots of digging, talking about stuff. Hey X, the map of your plot world is outdated. Uh, the map of the plot world should be live. As far as I know, May School will know more about that. It should be completely live. Now, how are we going to clear out this? Oh, we've got loads of these fellas here to cause trouble. Uh, how are we going to clear that area out? We can go for sponge spam is a technique. Now, let's give it a shot. Let's go bump, bump. Oh, this looks bad immediately. Oh no, wait, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Look, sponges everywhere. Bam. Keep placing them. Oh, I don't think that was good. Okay, that's probably enough. <laughs> wow, that can be really dangerous because they can hurt you a lot if you're not quick enough. Ow! Oi! What are you playing at? Uh, Potato Chip says, hey, assume a first stream. Welcome to the stream, bud. Ugh. This guy right here, this guy right here. Oh my god. <laughs> Get hit already. It's because they battle. I swear that one went right into him. Oh my god. We got a uh, a resubscribe here. Let's get some resubscribe hype. In the Oh my god, no. Leave me alone. <laughs> I can't aim at you. Leave it. Look at all these arrows everywhere. Leave it out. Oh, what have we done? That guy zapped me pretty quick then. Hmm. Uh, we got a resubscribe here from Defense041. Resubscribing for two months in a row. Absolutely epic support, buddy. Thank you so much. We are going to go and check the drops of this farm over here. Oh, they're all coming out of that room now, aren't they? They're going to make it a pain for me. Oh, he's made his way down there. Five, five ink sacks. Is that all I get <laughs> for building that farm? That's reappeared, hasn't it? Oh my god, what set me on fire? What set me on fire? <laughs> That's Wait, what is going on here? That thing zapped me in no time at all. The server be funky. Something set me on fire. <laughs> oh, heal up. <laughs> X download an aimbot. Are there really ones for Minecraft? That's crazy. I would never not you. Oh my god, this this guardian is weird. Get out of it. Bam. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Joel B says first stream and I love it. Awesome. Glad you're enjoying it. This guy right here gonna get wrecked. Bam in your face. In your face. Right. <laughs> now, can we get back in this area already? That would be nice. Hmm. 
Okay, so did the... Sp oh my god, it looks like it filled all back in. That's really annoying. <laughs> Man, this music's a bit, like, gloomy, isn't it? This song. Oh, look, the spamming was a waste of time. Rubbish. we got to fill in some blocks or something in there. All right, let's uh, let's get some sponges. Let's get this sorted out already. I tell you what, I'm going to despawn them again. That will make life easier. I think we need to go further away to make it work. X, you're not going to get anything from that farm with lava at the bottom. They're going to swim in and the drops will get destroyed. Uh, Zura Rock, I don't know. The guy who sh showed me that knows his stuff and has been using it himself and getting drops from it. So it should be all right. I mean, the squid survived, right? Or, or drops and things. Well, no, they didn't survive. They died. <laughs> the squid's drops survived. Right, so now that we're over here, um, the guardians should despawn. We've loaded that little part of it at least. You can see the other half maybe not, but they should despawn now. Hey X, what song is this? My friend, this song is called Marching. The older Crinkles stuff I've noticed is a little less popular. The newer stuff is... Um, not quite. Sorry, is is a bit more upbeat. Wolfboy Gaming says, "Hi, what have I missed?" Ah, you have missed everything. Everything that we've done so far. That's what you missed. <laughs> People always ask. It's like a lot of the time we're just doing derpy stuff and chatting, right? So nothing too much to report. Okay. Oh yeah, these. This is taken care of. Look, no, no guardians. So let's bridge up this area. Okay, and that's the top of the water, isn't it? I can still hear them, though. Maybe they're outside this. Okay, so now we're sort of sectioning off this area. That's all good. And then all the way down to the end there. Okay, and I'm going <laughs> to run out of air soon, if I'm not careful. Okay, that's good. So, we want to spam the roof first, I think. So, like, one, two, three, four, and oh, that almost worked. Now it's regenerated here. Okay, now oh, let's just let's go ham. <laughs> yes, yes, we cleared this area. Excellent. Right, job well done. Now onto the next area. We're gonna put a little thing here, and then do this bit, and then just put that right there. Ah, that worked out. Okay, let's block this off. Cool. All right then. So now we've got like a whole area here that we can take care of. That's good. Just grab all of our sponges back and throw down some torches, probably, which are already in my offhand. Hey X, have you considered making a face reveal? Do you have any plans to? Nope. Hobo Joe, not interested in face reveal stuff. Not at all. Uh, Cool dude says, "I am a god." X has read my messages twice. Is that is that all you need to do to become a god? What powers come with being a god? Can you demonstrate these powers to us? <laughs> uh, watching this while my hamster is on my shoulder, watching too. That sounds adorable, Dedo Survivor. That sounds absolutely adorable. Having a little watch with your hamster. That sounds cool. Hello, hamster friend. <laughs> uh, it doesn't even know, does it? Well, maybe it does. Maybe it's a hyper intelligent hamster. And he's plotting destruction against the world. <laughs> uh, we've got another Noise of Mia here. A donation once again from Rocky Avalon going mad today. What is up, guy? <laughs> Thank you for all of the uh, donations. Would you ever consider recording part of your Hermitcraft episode live? It would be real cool to see your creative process. And how about you set up uh, between cuts for maybe 500k subs? Oh, 500,000 subs. That That's the thing that might happen. Yeah, that's a cra crazy. Reminding me again that we are sort of on the road. Aren't we like close to 450 at the moment? I don't even know. I can't remember what it was last time I looked. Crazy, crazy stuff. Happening too fast. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know about recording an episode live. You see... Oh, we've got another one. Man, we're going crazy today. Let me explain. Between recording like if I record a clip and you see here's here's the thing right right now what I'm doing right now yeah that that is not in a video you never watch a video of me going oh you see the thing is this uh, um, oh. but you can that's what you do in a live stream you can't edit it that's just how it goes so what I'm trying to say is <laughs> um, I edit all of that out so it'd be really weird because I'd be recording stuff 
and then I'd be doing it over and over again until I said it right. Now, with Hermitcraft, that doesn't happen too often anymore. With myth busting like I did today, man, when I woke up, I couldn't do anything. I had to record the beginning of the video about 30 times until I was happy with it because I just, my brain just wasn't ready for words and thinking yet. It really wasn't. <laughs> uh, Capit Captain Amino318 says, X can't do a face reveal. He's a voice with arms somewhere in infinity. Somewhere in infinity. Just somewhere. Bam. Anywhere. Right. There goes my torches. So I've got another noise here in my ear from Night Reaper 1989 saying, Hey X, first time seeing you stream and loving it. Really Night Reaper 1899. Well that is fantastic. Thank you for coming by and checking out the stream. I hope you enjoy this first ever stream of yours. Uh, it says, by the way, I'm currently dismantling a microwave to build an arc wielder out of its parts. What is an arc wielder? That sounds cool and slightly dangerous. <laughs> Uh, but have have luck, have have fun even, and luck dismantling your uh, oh that's that's the bottom. Yes, dismantling your microwave. I hope you turned it off first. <laughs> I hope you're not slowly cooking yourself while you dismantle it. I'm gu I'm gonna guess that you're a smart guy. You know how to use the internet, and uh, and that you've you've turned it off. <laughs> All right, now now we got to uh, we're gonna be trapped in here with a guardian. Quick, let's get out. <laughs> We've got to clear out that area, but we need to do our um, our sponges first because they're all wet, aren't they? So yeah, a couple more torches. Let's go put them in the thing. efo has been cow tipping. Not a sport I'm a fan of, if you even call it a sport. It's not called a sport. That's just like I said. <laughs> Team Cap or Team Iron Man, says Mr. Fredsworth. I don't even know what the two are. I don't even know. Okay, so there's iron in there. We should select our pick so it can get a bit healed up from the iron. Bam! There you go. If it even did anything. Oh, I took all of them out. What am I playing at? There you go. Right, so for the meantime, I think we'll get a few more trees here. Savian says eat. Yes, absolutely time to eat. <laughs> Stickly Jake says your giggles sound like sneezes. Imagine if you giggled every time you sneezed. That would just be weird. <laughs> Uh, that is just a noise that I make, I guess. It's just a noise that I make. We've got a new subscriber here. It is Matthew James Holland. New subscriber. Thank you so much for subscribing. I hope you enjoy the stream. Bam, axe in your face. And again, axe in your face. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing anymore. It's different every time. Anyway, thank you so much for subscribing, buddy. I hope you enjoy the stream. Uh, hey, X, do you, what do you use to record and edit? I'd really like to know. I use... Uh, OBS, it's free, highly recommend it. I use MSP12 to edit, it's not, but I'd recommend using uh, Windows Live Movie Maker if you're new to video editing. Really great tool, simple to use, you'll be able to make uh, you know, decent videos. It depends what sort of editing you want to do though. If you want to do something fancy with loads of images being manipulated or if you just want to do Minecraft videos where you play and talk, uh, you know, the second one is for Windows Live Me Media Maker right there. And De Dedo Survivor says, now Alice has joined me and my hamster to watch. Well, welcome to the stream, Alice. I'm assuming that's your sister. Uh, let's have a look. <laughs> hey, X, seeing as how you're the only one working on the Guardian farm prep, shouldn't you be able to have a say on the end result? And that message disappeared. Let's scroll back up. Maybe Biffa's bowl type build with tributes to the old hermits there. Wow, so that's a really cool idea, actually. Yeah, I think we should aim to do things extravagantly. And that would be an extravagant idea. That's a really cool idea, I like that. So, chests be full, therefore we need to make new chests, right? Uh, I'm going to make a crafting bench, even though there's one behind me. <laughs> oh, no, no, those four will do. <laughs> Timey Master says, hamster for chat mod. Brilliant. Oh. <laughs> that, that would be funny. Right, okay, we need our uh, sponges. Uh, but we're probably going to need more of them, right? So, yeah, yeah, we need to wait for more sponges. X, what happened to Scrap Mechanic? Uh, Andy, I just kind of lost interest a little bit. I love the game, it's great, but um, until it has survival and more features, I think I'm sort of a bit done with it for now. See, one of the things that's important about a game like that with survival mode is that survival gives you so much reason and purpose to build stuff. And, and like, you know, will they say that necessity of invention or... 
the ascension is the necessity of mothers, I think is how it goes. Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, yeah, basically what they're saying is that... Oh, having a need to do something gives you a reason in to invent it. We need to go despawn them again. Let's go despawn them by moving through portals. X, what's your opinion on if there is a speed enchantment for boots? Oh, I'd love that. I think that would be cool. I mean, the thing is, when you've played the game for so long, you just want to get between A and B quickly. There was a time when travelling between two places was, like, fun in a way. You know, when, you, when you're first doing your projects, it's like, oh, we're all geared up, ready to travel through the never. And that's like, get me to where I'm going already. <laughs> oh. Falk says, I guess I win. X owes me £5. What is this? Are you having bets without me knowing about it? Anna Miles says, well, X, I've got to go now. Good luck with your stream. Bye. Thanks for coming by, Anna Miles. I hope you uh, have a good time doing whatever you're doing. CJ Dork says, do you like Mastodon? And also, what's the latest album you've listened to? Uh, by Mastodon? I, I haven't like properly listened to their records in a while, but I love Mastodon. Great band. Really good to watch live. Um, the latest record I've been listening to is... Irreversible Mechanic... No, what are they called? Let me go look it up again. And Noise in the Ear. We'll get to that in a second. Yeah, Irreversible Mechanism. I think the album is self-titled. That's the last thing I listened to. Uh, Pikachu9234 has subscribed. Thank you so much for your subscription, buddy. I want to make a joke about Pokemon and catching them all, but I can't think of one, so sad face for me. But anyway, thank you for uh, subscribing. Hope you enjoy the stream. Master MC says, are you going to Minecon? I'm not. No plans to go to Minecon. Not really interested in it. Uh, what was this? Are Mastodon the ones who made the White Whale Holy Grail? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't... They're a band. We're talking about a band. I don't know. Right, what are we going to do here? Ha, they've all despawned. The trick works. There's your proof. Let's go across at this height here. Do you know, I don't think we have to worry too much about the end blocks if we leave them like that. Okay. Yeah, I reckon this will work. Right, so now we want to run through this area, like... I got... Yeah, I got Depth Strider, so... Boom, 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 boom. Keep hitting it. No, that's a torch, and the torch might have ruined it. The torch might have ruined my day. I think the torch ruined my day. Damn it. <laughs> that's really irritating. Alright, here we go. That's got to be it, surely. Oh, it just came through from there. Fair enough. And one down there, and then one here. All right, excellent. That's so they're actually a pain. You want to block it off the whole way, and I think I could have done that with probably less torches, right? Oh no, there's torches. Sorry, less sponges. Clear from the top down, says Fender player. <laughs> Joe's been down there. I don't know how Joe got there, but whatever. Oh, I think that's one of his doors. Um, yeah, the thing is we haven't cleared out all of the top yet, but what's promising is seeing that there's loads of guardians in here because it may mean that our farm starts to pick up a bit once we get rid of more and more of them. But yeah, going from the top down would have been better if we had sand above, but we haven't cleared it out yet. X, do you have any pets? I don't have any pets. Pikachu says, torches be gone. Ah, they'll be gone when the water floods in here. That's, that's when they'll be gone. I feel bad because X says he doesn't have enough time for house hunting because he's providing us with content. He should just take some time off since he gives us so much. I get that it's his job, but even with a normal job, you should still have the time to look for a house. Brandon's the problem with looking for a house is that, um, like, it takes a lot of time, really, to go around and see places. Um, and my videos take a lot of time. Uh, so get what you're saying. Basically, like, don't don't worry about it too much. Don't feel bad about it. Definitely don't feel bad about it. It's just a case of... I, I'm a bit of a workaholic, right? And when your channel is doing as good as it is right now... I mean, the problem is my channel hasn't stopped growing. So if it were to slow down a little bit, then I could say to myself, all right, now is the time to sort that out and go easy on the channel a little bit, you know, take a break. But... It's really hard for me to say it's time to take a break when everything's going so well because that's, in a way, the worst time to take a break, right? Like, don't quit when you're winning sort of thing, <laughs> I think, is... Don't quit when you're winning, that's a strange one. 
You can't take time off YouTube. The most important thing is having your videos appear in everyone's sidebar. Absolutely right, Rocky Avalon. Um, and I've I've kept an eye on people that have taken breaks, and it is not healthy. Uh, <laughs> like I've seen YouTubers bigger than me, smaller than me, take breaks. You know, not even big breaks. Like even a week can damage your channel. You know, I'm never going to just stop uploading for a week. But um, you know, if I could get it down to five, four videos a week, that'd give me plenty of time. Uh, the saying is quit while you're ahead. Yes, that is the saying. That's not what you do on YouTube. On YouTube it's don't you dare stop while you're ahead. That's how YouTube works. Don't you dare stop while you're ahead. Okay, so we got friends in here. Hello friends. Some of you going to get blocked off. Sorry. Some of you going to zap me. I know. Oh god, no. Not too many zaps. I can't deal with that many zaps. <laughs> Go easy on me. Oh, some of these aren't placing properly, are they? Okay, there we go. Right, that's you. You. Again. Oi. Give me a hug. Bam. And again. See you later. <laughs> Off you go. Right. Let's quickly go the top level. Something like that. Quick. Keep. Oh, I don't think I did it very well. <laughs> I never do this very well, do I? Okay, and then just over here. And it's all done. Excellent. Right. I think we've got a friend on the other side. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Dingle Flopper says workaholic with air quotes around work. Believe me, making videos every single day is is work in a way. Um, it's fun work. It's the best work you ever do. But it's not it's not a free ride. Believe me, it is not swings and roundabouts. You know, you gotta you gotta be smart. You gotta think about what you're gonna do. You gotta make fun videos for people. You gotta enjoy it yourself. It's uh, it's a real it's a real hustle in a way. You gotta. Yeah, really figure out how how to do it all, you know? Like, the, the myth-busting videos and stuff, they don't... I don't know, so there's some people on YouTube, let's say, that just just hit record, talk, and then log off. Do you know what I mean? I'm not one of those people. So for me, it's like, there's so much thought and care that goes into everything. And it's, it's you know, really enjoyable and fun, but it's definitely not easy as well. You know, you really have to think and put put your effort into it, right? That's it, really. That's it. Um, effort. I put a lot of effort into everything. I don't just half ass videos because there's people around to watch them. It's like, I'm always going to try and make the best videos I can. And so, like today, like I you know, I was doing a, a video for myth busting, and I could, I could half ass some of it and just go by something that I've read, tell you what's what, but no, I'm going to do a test. I'm going to prove it. I'm going to figure out how to explain this the best way I can, etc. So, my myth busting today just took me from when I woke up to about 6 o'clock at night, and that's fine. I can't do any less, but, you know, <laughs> it's hard It's hard work. I, I don't know. I, I feel like I've, I've said it, but maybe I might, you might not be getting it. It's like, although, yes, it's, it's games and entertainment and stuff, you still have to put in the work. You still have to, you know, do a good job at it. As I said, I'm not one of these people that just hits record, talks, and then logs off. You know, I I make stuff, I experiment and brainstorm and test and do all sorts of theory and things. Uh, Hi, X, love your videos and your content in the stream, says Tractor Skyton. I just realised that I'm sounding quite hypocritical because I'm actually just playing and talking right now. But live streams are different. Live streams are not hard work. This is this is my break. <laughs> this is my time off a live stream. Do you know what I mean? We just hang out together and, and chat. So this is very different to what I'm talking about with the videos. This is just hanging out and chatting. <laughs> yeah, and some people do that on YouTube. Some people are very just straight talk, record, log off. Like I said, um, I've never never been one to do that. Have you considered XB's farm design, the Awesome One Gaming? Um, no, because that one was built into the temple. I definitely want to do a, an all-out-there big design. That being said, do you know what? I think I think whatever we build here, we have to explore lots of ideas. We, if any of you got ideas, tweet them to me as well. We don't have to build something that uses the entire bounding box spawning area, do we? And we can build something that's interesting. I ruled out the idea of using pistons earlier because... I was thinking, well, you know, use the pistons to pull them out of the water, but then you want to have rows of spawning spaces in between each one. You don't have to do that. You could just have them, like, be brought out and dropped, or 
yeah, I basically what I'm saying is we should get away from the idea of it just being like the most efficient ever. Uh, Jelly Carrot says, hey X, are you making a mob loot and XP farm or just an XP farm? Um, it's quite uncommon to do XP farms on the Guardian one. However, Guardfall, which we built ages ago on one of the other Hermitcraft worlds, was actually a, uh, a joint XP one as well, which is cool. I'm just wondering, is it worth removing some of this floor? Hi, and dropping in some uh, some sand around here yet. I don't think we really need to gain any floor space, but it might be interesting. I think I'll save that for another time. Let's have a little bit more of a read of chat here. Let's see what you're all up to and saying. Hey, it's first time watching the stream. I had a great time, but unfortunately have to go. Keep up the good work. Your name now disappeared because chat moves so fast. But thank you for uh, coming by and checking it out. Hope you're enjoying it. Uh, shut up, baby. I don't know it. <laughs> uh, are you voting for the next world leader, Donald Trump? Now, I'm not American, so I can't vote. And he's not a world leader. He, he, he's a businessman, and he's not elected yet. Uh, hey, X, my puppy loves watching you. That is amazing. That no blade? Thanks for letting me know. I had someone tweet me saying that their cat used to just, like, lay on the laptop whenever I was talking, which I thought was adorable. Oh. What motivates you to drink alcohol? Nothing, man. Uh, eight man. I don't drink alcohol. I don't drink alcohol at all. Uh, what do Guardians drop, says American Farmer? They drop different things that allow you to craft these blocks, those ones there, these ones here, and sea lanterns, which we have a couple of right here. Hey X, are you British? Mega Man, I am indeed British. X, how does someone get to be a mod? By not asking to be a mod. If someone asks to be a mod, it's usually a sign um, that they want to moderate possibly for the wrong reasons. Not suggesting anything there, but yeah, it's one of those things. It'll make, it might make sense to you, it might not. Uh, myth busting number one million. <laughs> Which mobs like hugs? E. Rich says. Let's think about this. Creepers. Creepers don't. You try to hug them, they blow up. Guardians do. Are there any other mobs that like a hug? I don't think I don't think Endermen do. <laughs> hey, since discovering your channel about three months back, I've fallen in love with your voice. <laughs> and so has my cat. There you go. Aethan Intes's cat likes my voice as well. Thank you so much for the lovely message there. Uh, Aquabird says, hey, X, just got here. What did I miss? Everything. You missed all of it. <laughs> So yeah. Right, I think uh, there's not much else to say. We need to wrap things up here. I want to say a massive thank you to you, to all of you for coming by and checking it out. Had a really good stream today, much longer than usual. And the next stream on Sunday will be the Hermitcraft all day stream. So I'll be streaming on Hermitcraft underscore. I'll probably host it from this channel as well. Um, but go subscribe to that channel if you want to. And Resubscribe hype, Leah Leia164, resubscribing for five months in a row, absolutely epic support, thank you so much Leah. <laughs> I hope you have had a great time this stream because that's going to be it, we're going to be wrapping it up right here. Uh, epic timing I guess. Yeah, hope you've all enjoyed it, it'll be uploaded to the second channel, don't go anywhere just yet though because we are going to go do a raid. We're going to go raid, raid away, let's refresh the raid page and see who is live. Oh my god, is no one live? No one is live! No one is live. I'm going to have to find someone to raid. Oh dear. You're going to have to give me a mo... Oh, do you know what? I'm never going to be able to find someone. I don't even know who half the other people are on Twitch. I guess that means we're not doing a raid then. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, no, no. Let's go raid the Hermitcraft channel so all of you can follow it. How about that? <laughs> yeah, just go to... Uh, a suit... Oh, no, a suit... What am I... Oh been doing this for too long. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Hermitcraft underscore and uh, follow follow that channel and I'll be live streaming on there on Sunday. Right, time for me to end it. Thank you everyone. Really enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye bye. <laughs> Someone in chat says raid fail. Yep, it's a raid fail. Raid yourself. Uh, make it rain is posted the link. There you go. 